Just bad luck. I don't I don't think bad luck is what has to do with it. But now I'll try to get back to 33. Let's see if I can actually play well. Oh, this guy's not bad either. Because I remember I played I played him earlier. Crying, crying over spilt milk? No, I'm just annoyed about it. Because it's like... Because I'm trying to play good chess, actually. Like, I'm not just playing Blitz. Like, I, I, I'm using my time trying to play good chess on the board as well. Not just purely flag. Um, so that's why I'm annoyed about it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I... Yeah. I can't say he's bad. No, he's quite a decent player. He is not a bad player, that is for sure. Just so frustrating. Yeah. Play Knight C6. Magus won. Oh, did Magus already win his game? Oh, wow. That was a fast game. Let's take. I guess I'll play Bishop D6 and Queen C7 and Castles. Mm, not ideal. I'll never adopt Buddy again, most likely. Unless he has a really bad day, I would say it's very unlikely that I'll ever adopt him. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll beat him in matches still, but I won't adopt him, that's for sure. Let's play Rook B8. Okay, I can play Queen A5 here, go after the pawn at A2. Almost four hours for Magnus. Yeah, but the time control is pretty slow, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'm fine a good move let's go here this is a bad move I think but maybe I can make it work with the queen a4 maybe go here trade the queens not queen a3 because then rook a1 traps the queen it's also really bad because like the the previous game was that Frankenstein Dracula I was also completely winning in that game and just messed it up horribly made a complete muck out of the whole thing for no reason um and why am i thinking so long here i don't want to trade um okay why am i thinking so long here what am i doing let's go here uh, i should have gone bishop c6 and knight b5 mm. not the best position i've ever had go here this dude is strong. He's pretty decent. Yeah, pretty decent. Just trade. We'll go here. I should be better because the pawn is blockaded by the knight, but it's not easy. Not easy at all. Rook B7. So like, I can play knight D8, but I don't want... Um, Where does this knight belong? D7, E7. Where does this knight go? I don't know. So let's just play King E8. Where does this knight belong? D7, E4... I'm going to try to put the knight on e7, maybe, here. Yeah. Yeah. Go here. I'm assuming the knight on e7 is better, but I actually don't. Ah, yeah, maybe now I can... Ah, 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 this is how I... Ah, 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 yeah, yeah, I got it. Now I trade, and I go f6, and I try to build a big black center. Yes, this is how I do it. I go e5. Okay, now I figured it out. Yeah, I've got e5, and he's got problems. Yeah, this is how I do it. No, I got 33, 34. I didn't get higher. Um, okay, knight e2. I can trade. I can play e4. I think I'm just going to go h5 here. Don't know if h5 does anything, actually, but... So I'll go g5. Trying to play on both sides of the board here. Oh, let's go here. No tricks. Everything's guarded. Maybe I'll go, like, rook h8. I also have g4 somewhere. In, uh, g4... I think g4 is a good move, so I'm going to play it. You can go rook g8. My idea is to go rook g8 and then king c8. King c8 to hit the rook. I also have rook h8 somewhere. Although, honestly, I'm not super happy with what I've done to this position because now I don't have rook h8, which I thought I initially did. Um... Go here. If takes, I think I have d4 to win material. Maybe. Eh. I think d4 wins material. Rook d8 takes, takes, takes. Knight c6. Play r I could play r as well, but okay. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's find out. So I take. I, tr I take and take. Okay.
Okay, that's good. Six more to go. Maybe I'll go for an adoption if I can. I'm an C3 and F4, maybe F4, Knight F3. Oh, whoa, whoa, let's take, let's castle. D3, Queen E1, of course. Knight H6. So D3. I think B3 is actually a better move here, but let's go Queen E1. Play bishop d2, maybe. I don't actually know what I'm... don't know what I'm doing in this game. Knight a4. Oh, did I just hang with... I hung a pawn, but it might be poison. Eh, I, yeah, I hung a pawn, but I think it's poison. I think it's poison. It's a poisonous pawn. I don't think he can actually take it right away. Um, he goes there. Now, I can play e5 here, I think. Oh, but then he has bishop b5 or something, so I guess I'll go b3. If takes, I'll just take, hit the center. Back, I guess. Probably he'll go back. To... Oh, he takes. Interesting. Now I can take with a knight, though. I think that was a mistake by him, because now I get c4 and bishop c3, and I have knight g5, and I also have knight g5 right away, maybe. Knight g5 or bishop c3. I don't want to use too much time, so I don't want to muck this up as well. Oops, let's take. Always d4. There's also just check, I guess. I feel like I should be better here. I don't know how much better. If I don't lose, it's like six more games. Not a lot. That hangs upon, I think. Do I go 96 or not? I think I do. Yeah, I just go here, force a trade, stack, and win the game. Let's just take, go here, stack the two towers. G4 should be winning. Kick the knight. Here, everything's guarded. Knight H4. There's lines. Okay, let's go again. Play b5, it should be seven. Four. Let's play c5, I guess. Okay, so he plays this line. Um, so let's go here, maybe h6. Actually, knight e7 should be fine ish. Ish. He might have had knight g5 there, which could have been very bad. I'll play h6. Go here. Buddy is better than me. Very funny. Very funny. I know you're trolling, so I'm not in a great mood after that stupid, stupid queen hang. But, I mean, for all intents and purposes, we, we, we know what reality is. Um, I can take the pawn and play knight c6. I don't like my position. Play knight c6. I have b4 here. I actually don't know what I'm doing. I guess play g5. But I think I'm just going to keep it similar with bishop b7. I kind of want to go G5. I want to go G5. Let's just do it. I, I'm thinking too long in every game. Let's go G4. Oh my god, I had Queen D8 to win the... Oh my gosh, what was that? Queen D8 just wins the game. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm lucky you played King H1. That was bad. Is it? I'm just up two pieces here. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Uh, let's keep going with e4. Play h3. Take. Can I hit 3400? No shot. No shot. I mean, I, I the problem with 3400 is I need for some inflation. I need, like, I need, um... I would need the players like, uh, what's his name? Like Liam Putnam and others to gain 100 points. If they could gain 100 points, I think 3,400 is very much in play. But they would need to gain that many points in order for it to be realistic. So it's not going to happen. No, I, I would need I would need all of them to gain, gain a ton of points. And it's just not going to happen. 
Just no shot. Hmm, that's a good move, actually. I'm going to play D4 here, though. Because now he's created, he's pushed all these pawns, so he can't really ever push in the center without hanging something here. And he also doesn't have a square to B3 anymore. I think I'm going to play, um, how do I do this, though? I think I'll go rookie one. I have to make sure he can never push, basically. That's what I'm, that's what I'm playing for. Um, he's trying to push, though. He's trying to force C5 in. So go here. Wow, he takes, which I thought was insane because of his pawn structure, which looks really bad. But maybe it's not that... Mm, can't actually stop C5. Great. Okay, not good. Play here. Interesting. He takes... I think with the rook or the pawn is also a question. I think I'll take with the rook. I guess I'll go here. I could play rook d3, but long term, I want to try and play against these pawns. Like 20 moves down the road, I want to try to win these pawns. We'll just go like king h2, keep it simple here. Of course, I should allow rook d6. Not very smart either. And yeah, now all my pieces are kind of misplaced. Yeah, why did I... Yeah, now Rook D1, I just hang up too. What the heck is wrong with me? Here. It's got to pick up the speed a little bit. Maybe like Bishop F3, King G2, H4. It goes there, which... I don't particularly like, because I have Knight D3. But it's not really like winning or anything. I'm not going for 3350. I, I think I just don't have it in me. Play here. Okay, so he's trying trying to line up his own triple stack. As long as I don't hang something bad, I'll be okay. I have to be very, very careful what I do here. Hikaru, I'm your biggest fan. Please read my comments. Nice. Fantastic. Let's go here. Still can't... I can't go Rook D2. It's so annoying. Oh, wait, I can't move either rook to d2, actually. Wait. Go here. Let's be very careful here. Yeah, thanks. Hope you're enjoying the stream, even though I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> um, I see if I have queen c... Um, okay, let's just trade some rooks off. I'm, I'm going to argue that in the long term, this pawn on d6 is very weak. That's, that's what I'm banking on. I'm going to trade. I'm just going to argue that in the long term, I can go after his pawn. We'll see if I'm right or I'm wrong. Take. Let's go here. Hit the pawns, of course. No e4. I is there e4? Oh, no. I've got knight d3. Okay. E, e4 takes, takes, takes. Queen d2. I've got knight d3. I didn't even see that. Do you think your great classical performance recently is hurting your blitz? Which blitz? You mean over the board? Because online, I've played, I mean, other than throwing a couple stupid games earlier, I'm playing quite well. So I assume you mean over the board. What does that do, actually? I don't understand h5. I just don't understand what h5. Okay, he goes 97. Okay, so now he has ideas. I see. He wants to go for like f5 or something. So I've got to be really fast on the uh, on the queen side now. Wait, bishop c6. I don't know. This looks like a free pawn, but what do I know? Oh, does he have 94? Oh, he goes e4. Wait, what? It's another free pawn? He's trying to line up some kind of mate idea. I get it. Um, Move, just move, just move. You got to keep up the speed. Oh, I had knight a6, which I missed too. Um, gotta move. Go here. Come on, come on, you gotta move. Just move. What am I doing? 
I'm gonna just go for it here. Where's where where is everything? What's There should be a mate. There we go. Four more to go. Let's play G6 or should G7. Play A6, B5. I mean, my play is still very good. It's just, um, it, I would say it's, it's not at the top level right now. Like it, it's good, but like, if, I think if I was playing someone a little bit stronger th than this guy, the, the the time usage would have caught up with me. Like someone like Buddy, who's very very fast on the clock, I think I think my time usage would have probably been would would have hurt. And I played this wrong too, of course. Um, how do I play this? I guess I'll go here. Yeah, like against somebody like Buddy, like is he's just a little bit more precise in general. Um. I'll go for this. He's a little bit more precise on the clock. Like, I have to be a little bit quicker, a little bit more technically sound. And I wasn't, I mean, I like against this guy, I won the last one, but that wasn't, that wasn't so technically sound. Um, what does this do? Nothing. Um, um, I'll take this one. I actually don't know which way it's supposed to take. You can take with a pawn or the rook. I'm not actually sure that taking with the pawn isn't correct. Anymore. Here. Ah, oh, Rook B, it's a terrible move. Why did I play Rook B? Uh, I guess I'll go. Okay, I've already messed this one up nicely, too. Of course, he finds that. And now, I, now I have real problems to deal with. I don't even know what I'm doing this game. Oh, great. I hung the pawn on C5. Oh, he doesn't take it. He could have just taken and won the game. Wait, do I look at... Wait. No, Rook 80 has got Knight B6. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Okay. Um, go here to play Rook 8 now. I'm also moving way too... I could have played Knight F6 to me with Rook 8, but whatever. Yeah, this just looks absolutely dreadful for me. I'm going to try to go here and do something. Yeah, there's another game where I bet I'm going to survive, but against a, against a slightly higher caliber player, I would just get absolutely smoked here. I, I think I'm going to survive this, but against a higher caliber player, I would just get absolutely steamrolled off the face of the planet. Okay, I go queen b8 to hit the pawn and take. Wow, queen a7, a very... Wow, now he finds the, the best moves. Amazing. Here... Queen a7, amazing move. Although he takes... Wait, what is this? Can't I just take? Am I getting made it here or something? Uh, not made it. Am I hanging something bigly? I'm so close to surviving. I'm also so close to getting absolutely pasted. I'm so close to getting pasted, but I think I'm going to survive. Yeah, this is a game where probably the last four or five moves, someone a little bit stronger would just, like, crush me. Go here. And now the queen guards the rook. And, yeah, now I should survive. Now, now I will survive, most likely. Trade to an end game here. That's always the goal. Yeah, always the goal. Okay, he goes there. But, see, now, now I have survived. Um, I'll go here, hit the queen. Uh, I rook b4. I also have just rook b1. I just have to get... Somehow I have to trade pieces. I don't know how, though. Maybe... Here. 
Okay, I'm going to play h6. Ask him what he's doing with his bishop. Here, I guess, to hold the pawn. I have a nasty little threat with knight d5 here. I'm sure he'll spot it, but I'm hoping he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't spot it. Wow. Um, he missed it. What? I don't know what that was. Let's go here and take. That was just weird. The only problem is even if I get luck in that game to offset the buddy game, it's plus two versus 14. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I could be like, oh yeah, I get that's the, that's the return. That's the return luck for, uh, for the buddy game. But unfortunately it gets me two points and the loss cost me 14. So it's not really a good offset. It's castle. Probably I'm going to go queen e2 and f4 somewhere soon. It goes b5 right away. I think I just go here and f4. At some point, I'm probably going to play a4. Life in the 3300 lane, it's very unpleasant, I know. I'm going to go h5 here. I've got h6 lurking. I've got knight f3. Okay, let's go here. I really do like my position in this game. because Oh, he's going to get the knight to d... Ah, no, but now I hit him with a4 because he can't play a6. Eh, it's still not... Mm, still not wonderful. It's not a, it's not wonderful time. But I should be better here. Maybe, maybe not. Let's rook b8, which I don't like. Let's I take, I play b3. Okay, this, this much I knew was going to happen. Now the thing is, how do I try to improve my position further? And I don't actually know what the answer to that question is, unfortunately. Uh, I can't take... f5 looks very wrong somehow. I feel like I need to do something over here. I, I don't know how, but I need to do something on the king's side. I don't know what rook b4... Is he going to try to... Knight b5? No, okay, what is this? I need to get this knight to h4, but then he takes. I'm going to go for it anyway. I don't actually know if this does anything. You can also just play a4. Trying to crash through on the king's side, but I probably am not going to. Yeah, I expected that. I guess I'll go here. I mean, st I still don't see a breakthrough for me. But, I mean, everything's everything's on the king's side. If I can't break through, so be it. There's actually queen d7 I just... Oh, I actually, I think maybe I should have gone bishop f5 and queen g4. But I still have this trick with queen d7 lurking. Question is, can I play queen d7 here or do I have to trade first? I think I can go here right away. Yeah, I'm going to go for this. I think I'm guarding everything. I could play as knight b8. Now here, uh, I feel like there should be something I'll just take. Do I have some trick? I'm trying to find a trick. I feel like there's some trick here that I'm not seeing. Maybe I have knight g6. Okay, let's go. I think this works. Does this work or not? I'm going to take, and I'm going to go for the cactus mate. I think this is actually winning. Think this is winning? I hope it's winning. I don't know. It should be winning. I don't know if it is, but it looks good. I take because I'm I'm going for all kinds of mates. Like takes, I think I just take and I mate him with the double stack. If knight f7, I sack the rook, I go bishop e6, I take, and then I win this way too. This should be winning. I think this is winning, yeah. Minus 16? No, it's minus 14. But still very, very tricky. Oh, wait, what's that? Wait. Wait, okay, wait. So I play de4, what's this move? Wait. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Use your brain. What are you doing? If I take, he's got rookie eight or something. Like, I don't know. This, this should be winning. Why don't I see a win, though? 
What the heck? There's no win because he's got rookie eight. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't think too long. I don't think I've played this precisely, but I think I'm still probably close to winning. I, I missed something. There had to have been a forced win there. There had to have been. Um, we should take the pawn. This should be. I've got rook f five. I've also got. Wait, rook a one might just be winning. Yeah, he's got. Oh, he's got knight c six back actually. But then I go for rook d one maybe. Can also just trade the rooks maybe. The show goes on. Okay, it's too slow. I'm gonna win on time. Yeah, but now I just take and I take and okay. Now now I'm up three pawns. Just go here and start pushing the p. Here, there we go. keep going. We'll keep going with G six bishop G seven. Review after the game, yeah. Play D six bishop D seven. How is the mood now? I'm okay. I'm not super thrilled, but I mean, at least I'm playing. I mean, I don't know if I'm actually playing better, honestly. Like I feel like I am, but I'm really not sure. Like, I feel like I'm playing better, but on the other hand, like, I was getting smoked in the last game, so I, I can't really say that. I think it's more that I'm playing someone just, who's just not just not quite strong enough to just, like, blow me away when I play bad chess. Um. Okay, now I'm just going to go h5, h4 attack here. What is this? I just take. Drop back. Magnus is not still playing. No, his game ended um, a short while ago. I don't actually know why I played knight h6. It doesn't do anything. I mean, I can go f6 and queen h3. I mean, I'm not actually sure if I'm mating him here. He's probably going to go queen b5, queen f1, undoubtedly. Like, I just want to attack with, like, g5, knight g4. Oh, he okay, he plays there. Interesting. We'll go here. I mean, I have g5. I also have bishop h6. Oh, is he want knight? He wants some knight g2 silliness. Oh, he wants to hit me with knight g2, knight f4. So I actually have to trade the knights and play like e5 here. Like even this game is not good. I can feel like I'm I'm in trouble this game too. Again, I'll probably survive, but I'm not playing great. It was a four. I thought he should have traded the pawns. Yeah, I'm gonna try to trade queens now. Of course, that's the best thing to do. Go a five, so there's no weird pawn pushes. Guess I will castle. At some point, I can play b six. Okay, it goes b five, which I kind of don't understand. I'm gonna go here to hit the knight. Don't even know why I play this, but it's just a bad move. <sighs> Let's go here. I'm going to 86 here. Maybe queen f7, maybe f5 somewhere. I'll go here. Now I'm gonna I'm, I'm aiming to play f5 at some point soon. I don't know when. Go c4. I saw this. I can take on d4 or just play b6. I think I'm gonna just play b6 here to lock the queen side. I also have a flying V formation. Go rook a e8, of course. You can always take. I always have f5. Position's improving. There's rook e2. I'll just slide my king away. I don't actually have an idea in mind here. I'm just kind of aimlessly making moves. Let's go here. Oh, I could have taken and gone knight c5, maybe. Okay, now he's trying to force c5 in, though, so I have to stop c5 here. 
I'll go here to hit the rook. Maybe like rook f7 and rook d7. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing here, honestly. I, I feel like I'm just playing moves. And eventually, it, oh, did I finally allow him c5 or? Probably I did, unfortunately. Let's take. I'll go bishop f8, cb6 is not what I want. Lovely. I do have knight d4 maybe. It's not what I want either. Okay, I'm, I'm up on clock, so I really need to press him on time if I can. Eight. I'm going to go for this. I think this is a free piece. I think it's a free piece, unless I'm crazy. Premier Rook D7. Okay, plays there. I'm happy to see C6, actually, because now I'm going to get a better structure with Knight F8, Knight C5. I have Queen C5 here, but I think Rook D6 is simpler. Queen C5 is actually probably a good move, but whatever. Okay, now I can take and go Queen D6. I can also play Knight C5 here. Getting too low on time, so let's go Knight C5. Queen D8, force the Rooks off the board. Now I should win the game. I think. But Knight E5, no I don't. Okay, got, you gotta move, you gotta move. King G7, just take it slow. Shoot. I've messed this up somehow. I should be winning here, right? I should be winning. Move. Oh, why did I do that? What the heck was that? I cover the square, I should be winning. Yeah, this is winning. Very close game. Not a good one either. I'm going to try to go for the adoption here. The Knights 3, Knight of 3. 3,300 again, yeah, but I have to win three more games to keep it. And I'm not, I'm still not playing well. Like, it's, it's good enough against this guy, but it's not good enough in general, I can tell. Yeah, it's not good enough in general. He had Knight C5, said, oh, Knight C5, oh my god. Yeah, like I said, I'm still not playing great. I can t I can tell that I'm not playing great. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go G4, G5 here. This is obviously not correct, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Queen G3 looks reasonable. I'm just gonna take with a pawn. I'm one point off of what? Oh, sorry, you're right. I'm 3299. I'm not 30. I, th I thought I was 3301 already, but I'm not. You're right. It goes knight b4, which just hangs a pawn. Thank you very much. I think he just missed the pawn, was hanging. Now I just won the game. Okay, so we are 3300, but the queen g7, knight c2, king d. I mean, this just looks like a free rook. Takes, king d1. Takes, takes. I mean, his knight is dead in the corner pocket. This should be a pretty smooth win. I'll just take. I'm going to walk the king over. Yeah, he resigns. Let's go again. Eight up, eight down. Two more to go. Not the only way to win that, by the way, but it's good enough. I'm gonna play c5 don't know if it's right but it's a move um let's go here i don't even know why i did this what am i doing ridiculous wait he just hung upon a beat no he kind of did but he also kind of did not go here yeah you can tell like i'm, I'm still like not happy with my play at all 
<sighs> Let's go e5 here. He can obviously take when I take with the bishop, and I think I'm fine. Gonna castle, of course. Knight c6 makes sense here. Just retreat with the knight. Maybe knight e7 and takes. I feel like I'm doing well. I've got good knights in the center. I've got a grip here. Maybe I can even go g5, which feels very weird, but maybe I'll just play queen f6 and keep this very simple. Um, Hikaru not happy while breaking 3,000. I can't even... I'm going to go g5, g4 here while... Um, uh, uh, Hikaru not happy while I can't keep my 2,500. Yeah, exactly. Let's go knight d4. I know. Tell me about it. Okay. I'm going to go h5 here. This probably is bad too, but whatever. If queen h5, I have rook h8 and bishop h3. I've got d's knights in the middle of the board. Actually, can I go h4 here? I think I can. Yeah, I'm going to go h4. Oh, I, G I was supposed to play G4. Why did I go H4? What the hell are you doing? Da, 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 da. What was that? I still might be winning because I have Queen F4, but oy, oy, oy. that was pretty poor. Go here. I mean, I've got this grip on the Dark Spurs with D's Knights and the activity, but that's not what I wanted to do. That's for sure. High score at this game is 33-34, yeah. Yeah. Really frustrating. So if I had won that game, I mean, I there's no telling. Like I could have played this guy after that and gotten to like 3350, but now now we'll never know. Like if I had won that game instead of hanging the queen, I would have been 3330. I probably would have played this guy a few games. Could have been 3340, 3350, but whatever. That's life. Actually, maybe not. Cause this guy's too low. It's plus uh, it's plus two. I think. Let's take. I mean, this looks insane to me. How do I mate him? This should be winning. Wait, this has to be winning somehow. How is this not winning on the spot? I have knight g3 takes... How is this not winning? I'm actually legitimately confused. I guess I'll take. I'll take. Yeah, somehow I don't have a forced win. Oh, maybe I've got queen h4, but I think I'm just going to go for the classic double stack. And go for the kill on the h file i could have also tried to reroute my other horse to actually probably knight oh no knight g6 queen g4 rook h2 is winning so i probably should have played knight g6 instead but it's still good enough he resigns let's go again one more for the adoption let's keep going play e4 okay let's keep playing the uh grand le grand prix attack um, because it's a good opening. I think I came close to adopting this. Was it this guy? Or no, it was Liam Putnam, right? It wasn't this guy who I almost adopted earlier. It was 97. This does give me the option to play f5 right away, which I will. Oh my god. He had queen b6, which is winning piece. He had queen b6, bishop e3, e5. Horrible. Horrible. Why am I so bad at chess suddenly? <sighs> ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. um what's the point of chess bra video the point of the chess bra video was actually um it was to show how difficult it is to make a living at chess really bad chess on display i mean i hung a piece i would never miss that i know i'm the only one who would shows how bad i am at chess this is bishop e7 now i need to reroute these pieces somehow my pieces are not on the optimal squares um hey, come on come up with a move dude stop thinking so long I'm gonna go h3. I know it's wrong, but I'm gonna play it anyway. No, actually, it's very wrong. Why did I play it? I, I thought I had b4 here. It's kind of weird. But I think I'm just gonna go a3. I mean, like, something good or something very bad is gonna happen very soon. I 
Yeah, like something really good or really bad is gonna happen. I think I have to play this. I don't want to go Bishop G5, but I think I have to. Like my position is so bad. It was there, which I don't actually like that much. Um, let's go here. Or did I just blunder something? I guess I have... Uh, he, he didn't do it. I think he had d5 there, which might have been, like, very bad. And my idea here was to do what exactly is the question? I don't even remember now. So I guess my idea was to take and go bishop f1 or something? I actually have no idea what my plan was. I, I, I actually forgot what I was trying to do here. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember why I played queen e3. I, I, I don't remember why I did it. Um, strange. Go here in h4, maybe? This also doesn't feel right, either. He has queen b6, I guess. I guess I'll go... Uh, I'll go here, because I'm just worried that something bad's going to happen on the diagonal. If I go here, I'm just worried... Okay, he plays h5. I'll go back. Oh, I blundered that, of course. Okay, sacks, which is fine. I'll go here. I'm still a little bit probably worse, but it's playable. Um, do I go c4, a4? I'm going to go c4 here. He's got e4, bishop e2, e3, queen g3, but I think I'm okay. Not the dream, of course, but I think I'm okay here. Because now h5 is also hanging. Goes there. Play like queen g3, d6 is weak. I've got f6 ideas. Okay, I think he's misplaying this now. I think I'm actually very much back in the game. Go here to hit the pawn on e3. If I win the pawn on e3, I, th I think I'm actually just com just winning the game. That hangs a pawn. And now I get the double stack, and I think this is gg. Yeah, I get the double stack, the threat. I've got rook d8. I've got bishop d3. This should be starting to collapse for black soon. Unless it's not. And I'm just bad at chess, as usual. Here. Still going to win the game, but again, missing, missing a lot of basic tactics. Come on, slow down. I think I'll just go here in rookie one. Very slow and simple. Just trying to dodge any nonsense. Because if I get if I, if I eliminate his attacks, I can flag him at the very least. Yeah, I just take. I don't care. Just get queens off the board or something. Yeah, just get queens off the board and win on time alone gonna go here create the classic kebab start pushing the P I can go here I guess go here to win more materials keep pushing the P and we get the win okay that's an adoption yeah not that was even worse that was an even worse game honestly but let's keep going I'm going to try to give it a go. I'm going to try to give it a go for three more. Try to get to 33.11. If I can. Although, can I get to 33.11 or is it just 33.10? I started the day at 3300-ish. So if I, if I can get to uh, 33.10, 30, uh, that's good. Zero loss in classical. I'm bad at chess. I mean, I'm not playing good chess right now. Smoke him. Or moke him, as they say, right? Ha, 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 ha. Let's play E5 here. Um, take of the night. I don't know why I did this. This is ridiculous, too. Let's play h5. Um, do I have queen c6 here or something? Something funny? I don't know. Um, what am I doing? Stop Stop thinking so long. Just move. Okay, let's go h4. Now I've got a wooden shield as well. I can play queen c6. Uh, I can't take. Let's go here. Trade some queens. I guess I'll just trade and go knight f6 here, maybe. 
I've got the wooden shield, which should count for something. It was G4, interesting move. I have H3. I don't know if it's a good move, but I'm going to play it anyway. We have this weird pawn structure issue that's unclear. Very unclear. Uh, I can play Rook H4, maybe? Yeah, I think I'm going to go Rook H4 and take. Uh, he... Oh, that doesn't hang a pawn. I thought he hung a pawn. Go here. Trades. Logical. Go here. He's 94 as well. Um... Wait, why did I do this? What the heck? Again, another ridiculous move by me for no reason. We'll go here. I did just blunder, of course. Guess I'll go here, 95, maybe? Maybe I didn't blunder. I can go for this. I have a little bit of a bat, a weird bash in here with knight f3. Doesn't look great though. It goes there. So if I trade and go knight f3, I don't know. What's, I also have rook d3 maybe. I'm gonna play here. He can't take, so I trade and take. If he takes, I take and I get knight f3. So I'm trying to create like a kebab and a bastion and win with, with the white peepos. I don't know if it's good enough, but it's something. His knight is also weirdly kind of stuck. Like his knight doesn't really... I mean, he can go here, but there's knight f3. And I'm threatening knight f3 right away. And his knight is kind of weirdly stuck. If I get c6, the knight actually has no squares whatsoever. Yeah, like I go c6 here and his knight is just glued. He doesn't have any squares available. Everything's kind of cut off. Whoa. Really? Ah, he's at four. Okay, so I guess I have to check. I take the pawn. Yeah, probably a draw, but of course I'm going to play on. That looks slightly wrong. Basically, what I need to do here is somehow I need to play on both sides of the board. I'm going to go here. I allowed that, which was ridiculous. I, I Why did I allow that? Ah, shoot. I'm going to have to go... Uh, that doesn't even work either. That doesn't work either. Oh my god, I just blundered this. Oh, did I blunder rookie two? Maybe? I don't know. I mean I still have chance to win this game, maybe. Or not. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it here. Oh, he's got C5, which of course I also missed. I go here. Go here. I'm still going to win on time, probably, but... There we go. Not a good game. The win, but it's not a good game. Wins are still plus two. Okay, let's go d4. Let's play knight f3. Bishop c4. 
castle. I'm gonna go back. Play queen e2, maybe. Go c3. Simple chess here. Ooh, yes, Master Chef later on, later on, not now. Let's go h5, keep it simple. Wow. So go here and takes. I mean, I always have h6. I just don't know if I should ever play it. Goes rook c8. I mean, knight g3 looks correct. Now the question is, do I ever play h6? I'm gonna go bishop g5. Okay, goes bishop f6. This looks quite wrong. I feel like I'm gonna get some kind of lolly made on the king side, if possibly. This must be wrong, no? Don't I have knight? Wait. Oh, I don't have knight g5. What the heck? Do I have queen g? Wait. I feel like I should have a win with queen g5 somehow. But I don't see it. Queen g5, knight e4. F6, c4. H6, knight f5. How is there no win? There's no win. What the heck? I'm, I f it feels so much like there's should be a win here. How's there no win? Takes, takes, queen f6. Um, no, no, maybe I... Queen f6, c4. Wait. Queen f6. C4, h6, knight f5. There's no win. What the heck? Okay, let's just play simple chess then. I wasted so much time there on that move. I should have just played this right away. Hopefully it doesn't come back to cost me. But I just waste like 50, se 50 seconds looking for a win there that... Seemingly didn't exist. Um, I'm going to play a4, go after the queen side here, obviously. Uh, I do have c4. I mean, let's go here. Yeah, I've got to move a lot quicker now. He goes h6, which still doesn't really worry me. Um, I'm going to play bishop d3. Maybe I had knight h4 too, possibly. But, but now I've got... Oh, he wants knight g4 or something? Okay, so I guess I'll go knight h4. I guess I'll go here, try to put more pressure. I mean, it feels like something's got to give on the, on the uh, king side here. How can a player continue after 11 straight losses? Because it's a sign of a champion. It shows that they're not intimidated and they're going to keep going no matter what. It's actually, actually like not joking, really. It's it's a very good sign. It's a, it's a sign of a champion. It's a sign of someone who just keeps going. Like, I'm, I'm not trolling when I say that. I, I legitimately mean that, actually. Now I go B4. No, I legitimately, legitimately mean that. Like, when I was young and I would lose, like, six, seven games, I would just keep going. I'd be really angry at myself. I'd be like, I don't accept this. I don't accept this result. It's just not acceptable. I mean, maybe that means that I was a complete insane lunatic or something, but that's actually how I felt, mostly. Go here. Problem is I don't actually have a way to break through. Yeah, I've, I've actually kind of misplayed this, I think. Okay, let's take... No, I've misplayed this badly. I guess I'll go here. What am I even doing though? This doesn't do anything. There's Rook F8, which I don't particularly like. Um, oh wait, oh wait, if I drop back, 94. Oh wait, did I just blunder? Oh, great. I think I did just blunder. Maybe I have queen... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I just blundered. 94. Uh-oh. And I'm down on clock, too. Uh-oh. 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 Focus, focus, focus. Um, Go here. Focus. I'm down so much time here. This is ridiculous. Come on, move. I just got to I got to pick up the speed here. Speed is going to matter. Go 
It's not what I meant to do, but it's still still should be good enough. Uh, gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move. What am I doing? I'm winning, I'm winning. There we go. Very dangerous game. Very, very bad game for me. It does as bad as it gets. Still gotta win. Yeah, that was stressful. Yeah, if I hadn't used 40, 50 seconds on that stupid move, I, I would have uh, I would have been fine. But uh, is he done? He might be done at 12. I guess he's done at 12. Okay. Yeah, my rating's kind of respectable. It's back to 3309. This is as bad as it gets. Yeah. No, I sent another challenge, but I think he's done. I could challenge Buddy now. Buddy would. Is Buddy. Buddy. Buddy, there's no way he's going to want to play after getting that miracle earlier, I would guess. But let's see. And it doesn't look like it. Take him out? What do you mean? Actually, have I even taken a break yet today? I don't think I have. I think I've literally streamed straight through. Um. Oh, no, he's ready for one more. Okay, let's play one more then. I want I want to get to 3310, basically. But I guess I'll keep playing him as long as it's plus two. This is a free... Wait, what is this? This looks like some kind of weird bunky nonsense. Yeah, I, I, I think I can take the pawn, but it looks like some kind of weird prep. Some kind of nonsense. Okay, um... I'm just going to go back. This looks kind of very, very kind of sus, actually. I'm gonna go F. This looks very sus for me. Very, very sus. Of course, now he plays D5, obviously. Now suddenly he's all prepped the gills with some super, super weird sideline. Should have played A5 too, probably. Yeah, he goes there. Yeah, suddenly, suddenly he's playing amazing. Let's play Queen C8. <sighs> Why is he taking like 10 seconds every move suddenly? What the heck? So go here. No, I'm not really sus per se, but it's just weird that he's suddenly super slow on every move. Maybe he thinks he's just winning here. Maybe he thinks it's a forced win. Yeah. Oh, it's true. Actually, you're right. It could be bad internet. Uh, you're right. Actually, I forgot. That's true. Like, Iran does not have good internet. I, for I forgot. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, he might not actually be slow. It might be the internet that's killing him. I didn't think about that. Um, although my position is so terrible here that it's, like, unbelievably bad. Yeah, his internet could be bad. Theoretically. Okay. Now, I think he's misplayed this kind of, but I've got to be very, very precise here to avoid just getting smoked out of the out of the gate. He takes. I'm very happy to see that, by the way. Um, I go king f7. 
I think he I think he messed this up. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think he just messed this up. I just have rook d8 and his queen is stuck. It trapped his Pokemon. She got stuck in the middle of the board. Although actually he's got queen b4, which I missed, but still it's good. Um He's misplayed this, but now I have to find a way to punish him for his mis his misplay. Misplay? His mis mis misplay. What why can't I speak English anymore? Let's go to g 6 yeah, miss, 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 yeah. <laughs> Can't speak English anymore. Sad, sad, it's a sad day when I know, oh my God. Oh, why did I play, or wait, no, maybe I can take with the E-pawn. <sighs> yeah, I completely missed this. I'm still okay, probably, but this is not what I wanted at all. The good news is he's very, very slow. That's the good news. He's extremely slow here. That's rookie one. I mean, of course I should play rookie eight here. Or did I know now I just blundered. I blundered queen d4, of course, obviously. But he's got no time, so I'm still kind of okay. Um, go here. I still have rookie seven. Yeah, he's too slow. I, I should be okay here. Um, I have C5 maybe somewhere. Okay, I'll go here for starters. Now I've got C5 to kick the queen, and now I've got D4 too, and now it's it's all starting to come together. It's all coming home, as they say, right? It's coming home. Um, there's just D4. There's also 95. Now let's go here and take the rook. I also have D4 here. Isn't that the saying from the World Cup? Isn't it the, isn't that what they say? It's coming home. Isn't it coming home? Isn't that the isn't that the saying? Or am I stupid? Oh, wait, I just knight you ah oh, no, there's queen f four. Takes I have queen f four. That's what the English say. Okay, but it didn't come home, right? They they actually lost, right? I think they lost. Okay, no, no, that's good enough. That that's good enough. I'm still going to win on time, probably, but. There we go. Not a good game. The win, but it's not a good game. Wins are still plus two. Okay, let's go d4. Let's play knight f3. Bishop c4. Castle. I'm gonna go back. Play queen e2, maybe. Go c3. Simple chess here. Ooh, yes, Master Chef. Later on, later on. Not now. Let's go h5, keep it simple. Wow. So go here and take, I mean, I always have h6. I just don't know if I should ever play it. Goes rook c8. I mean, knight g3 looks correct. Now the question is, do I ever play h6? I'm gonna go bishop g5. Okay, it goes bishop f6. This looks quite wrong. I feel like I'm gonna get some kind of lolly made on the king side if possibly. This must be wrong, no? Don't I have knight? Wait. Oh, I don't have knight g5. What the heck? Do I have queen g? Wait. I feel like I should have a win with queen g5 somehow. But I don't see it. Queen g5, knight e4. F6, c4. H6, knight f5. How is there no win? There's no win. What the heck? I'm, I f it feels so much like there's there should be a win here. How's there no win? Takes, takes, queen f6. Um, no, no, maybe I. Queen f6, c4. Wait. Queen f6, c4, h6, knight f5. 
There's no win. What the heck? Okay, let's just play simple chess then. I wasted so much time there on that move. I should have just played this right away. Hopefully it doesn't come back to cost me. But I just waste like 50, se 50 seconds looking for a win there that seemingly didn't exist. Um, I'm going to play a4, go after the queen side here, obviously. Uh, I do have c4. I mean, let's go here. Yeah, I've got to move a lot quicker now. He goes h6, which still doesn't really worry me. Um, I'm going to play bishop d3. Maybe I had knight h4 too, possibly, but but now I've got... Oh, he wants knight g4 or something? Okay, so I guess I'll go knight h4. I guess I'll go here, try to put more pressure. I mean, it feels like something's got to give on the, on the uh, king side here. How can a player continue after 11 straight losses? Because it's a sign of a champion. It shows that they're not intimidated and they're going to keep going no matter what. It's actually, actually like not joking, really. It's, it's a very good sign. It's a, it's a sign of a champion. It's a sign of someone who just keeps going. Like, I'm not trolling when I say that. I legitimately mean that, actually. Now I go B4. No, I legitimately, legitimately mean that. Like, when I was young and I would lose, like, six, seven games, I would just keep going. I'd be really angry at myself. I'd be like, I don't accept this. I don't accept this result. It's just not acceptable. I mean, maybe that means that I was a complete insane lunatic or something, but that's actually how I felt, mostly. Go here. Problem is I don't actually have a way to break through. Yeah, I've, I've actually kind of misplayed this, I think. Okay, let's take... No, I've misplayed this badly. I guess I'll go here. What am I even doing, though? This doesn't do anything. Here's Rook F8, which I don't particularly like. Um... Oh wait, oh wait, if I drop back, 94, oh wait, did I just blunder? Oh great, I think I did just blunder. Maybe I have queen, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think I just blundered, 94, uh-oh. And I'm down on clock too, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Focus, focus, focus. Um, Go here. Focus. I'm down so much time here, this is ridiculous. Come on, move. I just got to, I got to pick up the speed here. Speed is going to matter. It's not what I meant to do, but it's still, still should be good enough. Uh, Gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move. What am I doing? I'm winning. I'm winning. There we go. Very dangerous game. Very, very bad game for me. That's as bad as it gets. Still got to win. Yeah, that was stressful. Yeah, if I hadn't used 40, 50 seconds on that stupid move, I, I would have uh, I would have been fine. But uh, is he done? He might be done at 12. I guess he's done at 12. Okay. 
Yeah, my rating's kind of respectable. It's back to 3309. This is as bad as it gets, yeah. No, I sent another challenge, but I think he's done. I could challenge Buddy now. Buddy would was Buddy Buddy Buddy, there's no way he's gonna want to play after getting that miracle earlier, I would guess, but let's see. And it doesn't look like it. Take him out? What do you mean? Actually, have I even taken a break yet today? I don't think I have. I think I've literally streamed straight through. Um Oh he, no, he's ready for one more. Okay, let's play one more then. I want I want to get to 3310 basically, but I guess I'll keep playing him as long as it's plus two. This is a free wait, what is this? This looks like some kind of weird bunky nonsense. Yeah, I, I I think I can take the pawn, but it looks like some kind of weird prep, some kind of nonsense. Okay, um I'm just gonna go back. This looks kind of very, very kind of sus, actually. I'm go F. This looks very sus for me. Very, very sus. Of course, now he plays D5, obviously. Now suddenly he's all prepped the gills with some super, super weird sideline. Should have played A5 too, probably. Okay, he goes there. Yeah, suddenly, suddenly he's playing amazing. Let's play Queen C8. <sighs> Why is he taking like 10 seconds every move suddenly? What the heck? Let's go here. No, I'm not really sus per se, but it's just weird that he's suddenly super slow on every move. Maybe he thinks he's just winning here. Maybe he thinks it's a forced win. Yeah. Oh, it's true. Actually, you're right. It could be bad internet. You're right. Actually, I forgot. That's true. Like, Iran does not have good internet. I, for I forgot. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, he might not actually be slow. It might be the internet that's killing him. I didn't think about that. Um, although my position is so terrible here that it's, like, unbelievably bad. Yeah, his internet could be bad. Theoretically. Okay. Now, I think he's misplayed this kind of, but I've got to be very, very precise here to avoid just getting smoked out of the out of the gate. He takes. I'm very happy to see that, by the way. Um, I go king f7. I think he. I think he messed this up. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think he just messed this up. I just have rook d8, and his queen is stuck. It trapped his Pokemon. She got stuck in the middle of the board. Although, actually, he's got queen before, which I missed. But still, it's good. Um, he's misplayed this, but now I have to find a way to punish him for his, mis his misplay. Misplay? His mis mis misplay. What Why can't I speak English anymore? Let's go to g 6 Yeah, mis... mis, mis yeah. <laughs> can't speak English anymore. Sad. sad. It's a sad day when I know... Oh, my God. Oh, why did I play... Or, wait, no. Maybe I can take with the E-pawn. Yeah, I completely missed this. I'm still okay, probably, but this is not what I wanted at all. The good news is he's very, very slow. That's the good news. He's extremely slow here. Was rookie one? I mean, of course, I should play rookie eight here. Or did I uh, know now I just blundered? I blundered queen d4, of course, obviously. But he's got no time, so I'm still kind of okay. Um, go here. I still have rookie seven. Yeah, he's too slow. I, I should be okay here. Um, I have c5 maybe somewhere. Okay, I'll go here to, for starters. Now I've got c5 to kick the queen, and now I've got d4 too, and now it's, it's all starting to come together. It's all coming home, as they say, right? It's coming home. 
Um, there's just d4. There's also knight e5. Now let's go here and take the rook. I also have d4 here. Isn't that the saying from the World Cup? Isn't it the, isn't that what they say? It's coming home. Isn't it coming home? Isn't that this? Isn't that the saying? Or am I stupid? Oh, wait, I just knight you Ah, oh, no, there's queen f4. Takes. I have queen f4. That's what the English say. Okay, but it didn't come home, right? They they actually lost, right? I think they lost. Okay, no, no, that's good enough. That that's good enough. Uh, it's plus one, plus one. But it never does come home. Okay, it never comes home. Whatever, same thing. Um, anyway, we got the win. Uh, that feels like a good spot to stop the Blitz. Yeah, feels like a good spot. 30 zero. I'm going to go use the restroom very quickly because I actually have not taken a break in the five hours that I've been up. So I'm going to clear. I'm going to go step away for just a second and use the restroom because I haven't used it in five hours, which is insane. So give me one second. All right. Actually, you know what? I feel like playing more Blitz. Play more Blitz. Actually, wait. Who was who that? Someone challenged me. Who's challenging me? Um, oh, I thought someone was challenging me. They weren't. Okay. He's back. He is back. Um, let's see, who else is there? Oh, Liam Putnam's back. Let's play Liam. Liam Putnam is 29.52. He's probably ready to play more chess. Wow. Come on, Liam. Hmm. Okay, Windsor plus two. We're basically, this is like deja vu. This is deja vu. This is where we were like um, five hours ago. I was at like 3310. I was playing Liam Putnam to get to 3320. So this is like complete deja vu. Okay, I'm just going to take and castle. I like my position. I'm eating apricots. What is that? Hmm. I don't understand queen d4 at all. Queen d7. So I'll go here, threat knight b3. I also have e5 somewhere. Oh, I think his idea is to go for some big cheese with queen h4 and some kind of weird checkmate idea. I don't know what he's doing exactly, but something like that. Um, now, I can just play rook e8. I can also play h6. I think I'm just going to go rook e8 here. Hmm. I guess I'll go here to guard the knight. Do apricots keep you warm? I also have some uh, some prunes as well. Yeah. Go here. Yeah, they're dry. They're dried. Yeah, they're dried. Now I hit the pawn. I should win this. Should win the game. Yeah. Plenty of potassium and sugar, good for the brain. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the adoption here, I think. Um, so if I take the pawn, knight g5, I mean, it looks mildly dangerous, but I can also play h6 first. It's not an obvious decision here. I think I'm gonna go h6 instead, because I can always keep this grip sort of on the queen side. I can always keep the grip here. And so I don't need to give him any weird counterplay. How did our rating get so juiced? Um, I think it's just I've been playing good chess, honestly. Just, I mean, it's just that simple rule. I've been playing pretty good chess over the last couple of days. Um, okay, knight f6 with knight e4 and knight g4 looks very good. As long as I'm not getting sauced on the king side. Which I don't think I, uh, which square do I go to? I've got two squares. I think this is the right one. Wait, isn't this just, wait a second, what, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I just take. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, let's go e4 here. If I beat him 10-0, I, I didn't adopt him earlier, I don't think. So if I beat him 10-0, that means that I get, a, get another adoption. Yeah. 3350, very, very unlikely. But I mean, we'll see. Maybe I can do something, maybe not. We'll see if I can do something special. 
Okay, I'm gonna play um, Bear and Take, I guess. With like C3 and Knight F3. Play H4, maybe. The Knight F3, maybe Bishop G5 as well. Um, I think I will just castle here, why not? I'm gonna go G3, King G2, very simple chess, actually. I play this a lot with the black pieces. Um, a lot, I play this a lot. Okay, I can go Bishop G5. I can also play like Queen B3. Forget how I'm supposed to play this. I've, I've actually lost in this exact position to Ali Reza a few times. I think I'll go here. And then like Queen D2 to guard everything. And now I've got a good Bishop. B3 is uh, sketchy. I don't know if it's the right move, but it's playable at least. Um, although I don't like my position already here. Yeah, I don't like my position at all. What have I done? Okay, let's go here. I really don't like my position. What have I done to this? Um, I guess I'll just go here to guard. This is not a good position. This knight on f5 is so good for black. I don't, I don't know why I did this, actually. It goes rook c2, which I saw, but I thought I could play like bishop d2, maybe. Because now maybe I've got some knight g5, some kind of pressure against the flying v. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Bishop h6 looks wrong. Actually, it looks very wrong to me for whatever reason. But I, I can't quite work out why, so... Let's go here. It looks really wrong somehow. Takes... He's got rookie two, maybe. He goes queen a6, but I assume that I can block again. And I blundered that. Just great. Just great. Just great, Hikaru. Just really, really smart and stupid. Oh, why did I do this? Wait, king f1, rook b2. I think I have to do this. Oh, he takes a pawn. I didn't think that was correct. Wait, I think I'm going to actually beat him. I think he's going to lose on the dark squares now. Yeah, I, I think he's actually just... I'm going to I'm gonna hit him with the lobster pincer. I think the lobster pincer is going to be overwhelming here. So I have rook c7, and then there's some kind of lobster pincer incoming. I think, I think this is very bad, actually. Um, I need to be a little bit precise here. I think rook c7 allows rook b1, which is why I'm going to play this move first. Yeah, I, th I think there's a, there's going to be an unfortunate lobster pincer incoming. Wow, he sacks. Okay. Um, go here. Go here. I mean, he still is going to have issues with lobster pincer. There's bishop f6. And now I go here, and he can't guard these knights. Yeah, he just loses to the right triangle as well. Okay, I'll take it. Not a good start, but I'll take it. Or, not a good second game, I should say. Let's take. Okay, we get the win. Let's keep going. Still plus two for wins. Lobsters and triangles. I mean, lobster sounds really good, doesn't it? Let's play b5, bishop b7. Go e6, c5, probably okay. Goes a4 again, I'll play b4. Actually, I remember, this is what I was playing against him before, and it wasn't working out very well. So I don't know why I decided to play it again. Um, got in a garbage position. Wait, actually, I could take-ish. I'm going to go rook a7 and pretend that I'm okay, which I'm probably not. My rook does not belong on a7 here in any world, so I don't know exactly what the fridge I'm doing. I'm going to play knight f6 here. I guess I'll just go back and pretend that I'm okay. This is pretty bad. But I'll probably be okay. Okay, so he castles, so... So I just take and play like Bishop E7? I think that was a poor decision for my opponent, actually. Although I have to be careful because there are diagonals now to hit the rook. This is Ikaru's secret prep, exactly. Um, if I castle... If I go h6... Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Okay, remember, I've got to remember, this is the dude who likes to go for the big fat cheese. 
Um, is there a tactic H6? I don't see it. Like 95 H6 takes, 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 takes. I'm fine. 95 H6, 96 takes. I'm fine. Takes, takes. Takes, 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 takes. Oh, wow. He's got this one. Oh, that's beautiful. Shoot. I missed this. Great. Okay, now I'm down a pawn in an endgame. Lovely. Of course, he finds queen c6, and now I'm in real trouble. Go here. All right, do I? I guess I go here. Yeah, I'm actually throwing this game really, really hard. Like, harder than I, harder than I possibly could envision. Of course, he finds queen e5. Um, I take and I take. I mean, I've got to be so careful not to get mated here on the h file, but I think I'm okay. Okay, take. I'm down a pawn, but I'm down a pawn, but I can also take this one and try to gobble, gobble, hobble, hobble. But if I take h5, queen d5, h5, f6, queen g6. I don't really like it so much. So I think. What I'm going to play here is probably actually just like... Uh, how do I do this? I don't want to go queen d5. I don't want to go rook d8. I don't want to... I think I'll go here to play rook d5, maybe. I got to focus, though. I'm, I really do need to focus here. So I'm down on clock and I'm down a pawn. So I'm going to need, I'm gonna need some, some luck here, too. I don't know what that is. He just gave me a free pawn. I mean, he has an IG5, I guess, but... Okay, I should be okay here if I'm if I'm practical about this. He's going to go H6. Okay. Can't afford to burn much more time, though. Come on, you got to move. I'll go here. Go here. course he's got 95 which I also conveniently missed but 97 maybe I think I'm okay here I hope I'm okay I don't actually know if I'm okay but I hope I'm okay problem is I'm down on clock too which doesn't help but I think I'm okay here actually I think I'm okay because Queen g3 so I have to go queen f8. Takes rook b1, logical. I can also play g6 though, I think. Or wait. I think this works. This feels very puzzle rush-ish. But I go here. There's no way for him to win material. I couldn't take because he has the right triangle. What is this? Wait a second. I should be winning here if I play this correctly. So, here I guess. Okay, I just gotta go. Okay, now I should win. Yeah, now I just win. Good. <sighs> dangerous. Yeah, dangerous, but we got the win. Yeah, that was a very, very dangerous game. I could have very easily have lost it. Very easily could have lost. Let's play D4, C4. He had a win. I'm not surprised. He probably had multiple wins, but we got the win. That's all that matters. He, he was winning when you said, I think I'm okay. Aha, uh -huh, there's some kind of puzzle-ish. Okay. No more A6, but it's such a good move. I mean, I heard that the former world champion, uh, Magnus Carlsen, played it. So, I mean, if he can play it, then why can't I play it? 
Okay, it goes here. How do I want to play this, actually? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm going to go 91 here. Just take. I don't even know what I'm doing again, though. This looks very weird. Why is my knight on e1 and not f3? What am I doing? This makes zero sense at all. Do lobsters eat pineapple? That's a good question. I don't actually know. I don't know the answer to that question. Yeah, I actually don't know what that. I don't know the. I don't know the answer. Um, so go here. What am I doing? I'm actually playing this very badly. I'm gonna go G3. If I'm able to get F4, and I should be okay here. Are there pineapples in the ocean? Good question. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go F4 here, which is obviously a absolutely horrible move. Absolutely a, an abysmally bad move. Jeez, what was that? Maybe I have this though? So bad. What is wrong with me? Suddenly I can't play even halfway decent chess. I'm very lucky. I'm actually, I think, okay here. I don't deserve to be okay, but I am. He's going to use a lot of time looking for a knockout blow that doesn't exist. And. Of course I trade, of course I trade. Okay, and now it's a matter of trying to just play good moves. Let's go knight c2. Yeah, now I've survived somehow, I, I, miraculously. Doesn't mean I'm gonna win the game or anything, but I've survived. Or have I? I saw, as soon as I played knight c2, I realized he had rookie two. Or do I have h3 maybe? Wait a second, wait a second. Think, think, think. No, no quick moves. I, as soon as I played knight c2, I saw it. As soon as, as soon as I played, I saw the move. I saw this, and now I have to play rook d5 to cut him off. So otherwise he has a repetition if I take he goes check 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 with the repetition so I've got to go work d5 cut off the diagonal but now everything's also hanging at the same time I think I I think I tricked him I think I swindled him here I think I'm gonna win I think I tricked him I think I actually tricked him here I think I did I, think I tricked him He disconnected. Wait, what? No, he didn't disconnect. And he's got this, and it's still very much a game. Um, well, let's go here. I want to keep pieces on the board, basically. And this was ridiculous, too. Why did I do this? But I'm way up on clock, I think. Yeah. Because there. Now I start to use the uh, advantage on the... On the um, Go here, probably play h5, like maybe here h5. Go back and okay, now I'm I'm well on my way to a dub. Resigns. Let's go again. Close game. Close, close game. Yeah, no, no more a6. Let's play a proper French defense. In honor of the classic French and their amazingly bad Maginot line. Play knight d7, b6, bishop a6 here. Actually, yeah, let's go for this. Let's trade. What's LMAO? What? I, 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 what's LMAO? I don't know. I don't understand. Let's play G6. Standard stuff. C5. Knight C7. French is as bad as A6. Okay. The Maginot was good. It just wasn't long enough. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, it did. <laughs> it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Okay. And that's why France fell to the. That's why you had the Vichy government, right? Play here and trade some queens. I can go queen d3. I can try to get all, all up in his business, but it doesn't look right. So I think I can also just... What I want to do here, actually, is a good question. I, I don't actually know, so I'm just going to develop. I'll go here to hit the knight. I mean, it's very dank what I'm doing. It doesn't look right, but maybe it's okay. 
I'm probably going to go long as well. I'm probably going to cast my king to the queen side. That looks very strange. Okay, now I'm going to go c4 and a5 for sure. French make great great wine and fries. Yeah, I mean, freedom fries here in America are amazing. Take with a rook, I guess. I don't even know if that's right, but it's a move. I also have knight b5 here, maybe. Yeah, I feel like Mr. Um, my, my opponent's not doing so well. Give me one second, you guys. Okay, so he plays bishop b2. Um, I think I have bishop a3 here. Now let's just take. Don't I have knight c3 or am I crazy? Liam versus Cherry. Yeah, I was just getting my food, you guys. You can see it. Yeah. I think I just take the bishop. Yummy? Yeah. Is it bussin'? Of course it's bussin'. Okay, I think I just go here and I just start pushing P. There we go. Next game, five up, five down. Okay, now I feel like I'm back, kind of. I feel like I'm finally grooving again. Yeah, the good mood is slowly coming back. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, the good mood's back until a sudden loss. It just, like, ruins everything, right? Yeah. Wow, you streamed for a long time. Yeah, my, my re I set a new record, you guys. I set, a, I set a record earlier of 33-34, an all-time record. Um, so I did set a new record, so I'm, I'm kind of grooving a little bit. I don't know if I like E5. Wait, okay, I think I just castle, why not? Or did I just blunder d4? No, I didn't, I just take. Go back. I think I'm doing very well this game. Previous record was 33-32 set by me. That was the previous record. I, it's like rice with some ground beef and some green beans. And corn. And pickles. Hmm. I feel like there's something good here, but I don't see it. I'll just go here to hit the bishop. Was that before or after the queen d8 blunder? It was before. Pickles seems odd. Yeah, I don't know. Pickles, green beans, corn. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. I should be better here, but I think what I just did was stupid. Mucho stupido, actually. Rook C1. This is also even more stupider. I think. Or is it? No, no, it's not, because I've got knight A5. No, it's not. What's the difference between a cheesy opening and a corny opening? I don't know. I think I'm actually doing very well in this game. It goes there. I mean, maybe I'm not. Uh, or wait, no, I am. So I have queen e5 to force the queens off the board, and then he's got all kinds of problems on the queen side. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a second, I've got 95. Wait, do I have rook d1 with the classic ice skater? I do. We have the classic ice skater, and he loses the game. Yeah, here comes the ice skater to town. We are young tonight. I have h4, which I think is fine, but knight c6 looks like the right move. Bishop h3, I just go g3. And now there's like bishop c4. I mean, this should just be completely winning for me, unless I'm missing something very obvious. Was Bishop F8, logical move. Okay, what's the reasonable continuation? Knight E5 looks very solid. Um, just to hit the knight. Bishop C4 incoming as well. It should be very, very good for me. 
In fact, I think this is probably just winning. I don't think this is just good. I think this is just winning. I go here to hit the pawn. He has to go back. I trade, and now it's just like... Just an absolute dream with a kebab and a bastion. Another free juicer to take. Resigns. Let's keep going. Let's keep playing the French because somebody said the French is such a bad opening. So let's keep going for it. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, that's a blunder, actually. He just made a mistake. Yeah, this is a mistake. He just blundered. Uh, he goes to F5. I actually lost a game, I think, in this exact system against somebody. Maybe it was against Morozevich. I lost this exact position, I think. Tomorrow was having like Reggio Emilia many years ago. Yeah, this is terrible for um terrible for white. I take and I go queen c5. So here and now I've just I just have an extra pawn in the center of the board and it's an end game and I just win the game. What happened to Morozevich? I think he um I think he just stopped playing chess. I don't know why, but he just did. Let's go here, of course. Okay, I think I just go like King E7. Maybe let's play Le Bon Cloud. Go here and Rook F8, and I should be fine. As long as there's no sack, which I don't see here, I'm just winning. How good was Morozevich? I would say he, at his prime, in his prime, he was 2,800 plus in his prime, like very, very good player. I would say close to 2,800 strength. Very, very, very innovative and creative player. Okay, now he goes there, but that doesn't actually do anything. So I guess I'll go here. This is step one. If I take, 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 I hang the pawn. So he's not he's not going to trade the rooks right away. But I think I'm going to cut him off with bishop c6 and just hold all the glue with the wooden shield in a second. Go, wait, what? I don't understand. Am I missing something? I'm not. I'm not. He's just on. Oh, wait. Did he come up with some? Oh, wow. He found a tactic. Oh, wow. I call me impressed. He found a nice tactic. Unfortunately, um, it's not going to be enough to uh, to survive. Very nice tactic, though. I give him a lot of credit. He's just going to lose the pawn, and with it, he's going to lose the game. Go here. I also have knight c5. Let's go knight f4. Go here. And now it's just forced checkmate with the rook and the knight in the corner because the king has no square. What's in your head? In your head. Who is Arkady Kromeyev on the bolt leaderboard? I don't know if it's like ne it's Nepo or somebody. I don't know who it is. I'm not sure. But it's somebody like Nepo. Hmm. He goes knight f6, which I don't like. Let's play knight d4 to hit the bishop. Why am I not playing Montenegro for America? Because it's a European team championship. It's all about the European Union. Um, It's not about America. Because we're too good for the European Union. Reddit says the 2000 kid rated below 2100. No, he's a FM, so he's probably 2300. No, he's 2300, right? It says FM. He's a FIDE master, so he can't be below 2100. Wait a second. This looks really bad. This looks really bad. What is he doing? Wait. Wait a second. I know that this is winning. I just need to be careful. 
I mean, am I not just up extra materials here? I just check him and then move the queen. Yeah, this looks very bad for black. He's playing like a 1400. Okay, you guys. If you want to step into the Thunderdome and play against me, I, 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 I have my doubts that you'll do any better than he's doing. Okay, do I take or do I just check? I mean, all moves, all roads lead, kind of lead to Rome. I think I'm just going to go check. And then go like takes in here. I mean, I'm just up a pawn for nothing, basically. Ah, he, ah, he came up with an idea, actually. I missed this G6 move. I'm up a pawn, but it's not trivial to prove. It's actually not trivial at all. But I think I'm going to go here. And then Rook AC1, probably. Now let's go here. It's not super trivial. I'm still much better, but... Um... Go check. Okay, I do have ideas here. Like, queen d4 is a move. I mean, I don't know what I'm actually playing for. That's the problem with this position. Um, let's make a check. Surprisingly tricky. Um, what am I doing? No, I can't do that. I guess I'll go here. I don't know what I'm doing, actually. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of messing this up a little bit. I've let him get a lot more play than he should have in this position. I'll still probably win the game, but I've, I've kind of messed this up a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, this is not trivial anymore. Um, I guess I'll go 95 and take. This isn't really what I want to do, but I think I have to do it. Go here. Go to check, and now I should be safe because now at some point I'll be able to unwind the pawns. How often do I shave? Um, that's a weird question to ask, but um, go here. What is this yellow thing? What yellow thing? Sorry. Oh, let's just take. We'll go here, guard the pawn. More than happy to trade because now I fixed the uh I fixed the um queenside pawns here. Go F3. Actually he trapped his rook, kind of. Let's go here, I guess. Now I activate the rook, and now let's bring the king in. G4, fix the structure. Okay, let's keep going. Still plus two for a win. Okay, let's play C5, one of the older systems. I'll just take... Okay, let's play d5, of course. Like, wow, he takes with the bishop, which. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do this? This is ridiculous. Ah, <sighs> so stupid. I plays d5, of course, not to take. Let's take. This is gonna get very wild very quickly, but I, I've got a I've got a g file. I've got a g file and a diagonal for the win. Knight f4. Knight h3, knight g5. I mean, I don't know if this is actually working, but it looks very scary for white. 
Oh, whoa. Do I have Queen H4 after G3, maybe? I think I do. Oh, wait. I think I do, actually. It's too beautiful to not play. I'm doing a Botez Gambit because I have a checkmate. And I'm also going to mate him with the uh, Lobster Pincer or whatever you call it. I think this works. No, I guess I have to check. Go here. I'm playing for all the diagonals. I also stop bishop b5. I also have knight e5 here. I assume this is winning. Let's go here. Of course, overload the pony. Do I have rook d8 here to even further overload him? Oh, wait, I've got knight f4. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at D's knights. There we go. This takes, and he just he gets killed on the diagonal. There was a similar game against Daniel, that's right, quite a while back. That's true. I sounded like Yasser Sarawan. Okay. Wait. Oh, no, why did I... Wait, why did I play this? This is stupid. This doesn't work. I was trying to get too cheesy. I'm still fine, of course. I just drop back, play like D4, B3. It's not what I wanted. I, was try I, I thought I was just winning. I thought I, was, I went for something that wasn't winning. Let's play D3. I don't think I get two, though. I think this is the last game where I get plus two. If, if I got plus two for more games, I would definitely play play more. But I think it's plus one in a second. Okay, he plays knight h5. I think I should just go g3, cut off knight f4, king h8. Now I think I have d4, and knight d4, and knight f5, and look at everything activation. Look at the activation. Take, go for the knife on f5. This is really bad for Mr. Liam. Really bad. Why are Georgia, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Israel playing in the European tournament? Um, I don't know. Um, uh, that might be a very good... Uh, Queen f6 is actually a shockingly good move. Ah, crud. Do I have, wait, no. I've got knight f3 and e5 maybe, though. Let's go here. I have e5 still. Ninety-five rookie five. Hmm. Guess I'll go here. I have a feeling there's probably something with e five, but I don't see it right off. I have a feeling there probably was something with e five, but I, I don't see it, so I might as well just keep it stable. And now, if I get the knife to f five and I open up the scope, I should just be winning. Like this looks horrible. I've also got knight h four, and my knights are jumpy, jumpy. Which one? Knight h4? Knight, I think I'm just going to go knight f5. I've got the knife on f5. What does that do? Nothing. I can try to harass him with knight to e5 now. Look at these knights. There's also knight h4. Knight e5 looks right, though. Let's go for it. Look at these knights. These knights. Oh... Hmm. Fabiano is on Fox 2 now with Polgar. Yeah, that's like the uh, St. Louis uh, news show or whatever. They have it's like some kind of weird gig or deal or something. I'm, I'm aware of it. Let's play F3, create the classic uh, snake formation. It really does make me sad that there's so many people who don't know what snake was. Not going to lie. Go here to trade off the rooks. Bring Tifu back. Uh, I don't know what you mean, bring Tifu back. What you mean by that, exactly. I mean, like, Tifu's the man, but I, I, you want, what are you asking, exactly? Wait, I'm, I'm thinking too long. Um, go here. I got, I got to focus, sorry. 
I had rook d6 f6 maybe, but I think knight three saves again. I've got the classic ice skater. Let's just drop back. Maybe their rook d6 was good, but who cares? Wrong stream? No, I mean Tifu's uh but knight f5 again. Maybe I do. I don't care. I'll just go here. Okay, now I'm gonna hit him again with knight f5. And I might create the bathtub formation with these pawns soon. Now let's go here. T Queen H4 was wrong in my game. Oh shoot, did I just blunder? Oh god. No, I didn't blunder. Okay, good. Or wait, what did I just do? Did I just blunder? Oh shoot. Talking too much. Stupid. Here I can take and take, I guess. Very stupid. I'm still gonna win the game, but very stupid. Yeah, no, Tifu. Um, I, I had a short, short interaction with him on Twitter. He was asking about Pog Champs in, in a long time ago, and obviously, he's like the first big streamer that I really watched on on Twitch. So, I mean, it's not completely out there to bring his name up. So here. I'll go here. Oh, shoot. Was that a blunder? That was. Oh, yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Come on, don't flub this. I flub this. Oh, he blunders. Oh my God. Holy mackerel. Wow. Oh my gosh. He nearly flubbed it. Wins are plus one. No, wins are plus one. That's good. What was that? What was that? That was ridiculous. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, if he gets his rating back up, like 10 points, I'll play him again. If he gets a rating back up, like 10 points, I'll, I'll play him again. Poggers, 33-31, yeah. We have a new son, yeah, that's like, uh, we, we've adopted a lot of people. Now, now I'll play some, I'll challenge Buddy again. Now that my rating's high, is he going to accept? Let's see. Let's see, is Buddy going to play now? Probably not, actually. Um... Yeah, I very, very nearly threw it. Yeah. Break the record again. That's my goal if I can find somebody with plus two. But you know what? Maybe I just play Liam at plus one, honestly. No, I think I'm just going to play him at plus one. Why not? I'll play him at plus one. Yeah, why not? Let's go here. I already set a record today, so I don't really care. If I hadn't set a record today, I probably would agree with you. Like, I, I probably would be very careful, but I already set a record, so who cares? Like, I feel like we played this position earlier, too. Block, trade, trade. Yeah, 33-35 would be a good new record. But the problem is, you guys, I really need to press it hard now. Because if I, if I don't press it hard now, there's basically zero chance of me getting to a, a new new record. Tomorrow I'm playing Title Tuesday. I actually don't know why I did this, by the way. Go here. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be playing Title Tuesday tomorrow, so I'm going to lose rating points no matter what. So I've got to try and get something higher. 
tomorrow I'm gonna go a perfect score 11 out of 11 yeah that that would be nice but let's let's live in reality you guys it's not gonna happen <laughs> okay I guess I'll go I don't know which rook to put on D but I'm assuming that the rook doesn't belong on C8 let's go like here maybe oh this doesn't do any what the I thought I had some weird tap or wait I do it wait I do have knight of four here maybe but I don't like it so I'm just gonna go here back I mean my queen is kind of busy here near his king I've also got right triangles which abound so I'm, I'm close I've done 11 out of 11 a couple of times but I mean it's like two or three times max yeah we're gonna try to get the record again though La 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 Okay, that looks like a bad move, but I don't see the killer blow. Feels like there should be something like 94. I don't see it, so I think I'm just or Rook D4 would hang knight here. What the heck? I think maybe I just play solid chess here. Like there's no way to play solid chess, so I guess I'll just go here to hit the knight. Da, da, ba, da, da, da. Go here to hit the bishop. Ba, da, 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 ba, da, da. That looks wrong too. Okay, here comes the classic kebab on the seventh in honor of XQC. Oh, uh, there's bishop b6. There's also just rook eight. Wait, is it? Wait, ah, where's my rook? There it is. Bishop b6. He has c5. I take. If I take the pawn, he has some G3 cheesy cheesy. Um, okay, wait a second. If I take and play rook A2, what's going on? And he's got... I'll take and take. Hopefully I'm not blundering something here. Let's see, have G3 or something. I have to be very careful here. City... I guess I'll just trade and play like a6. Okay, let's go here to hit the bishop. I still have to be very careful here. That's the main thing. I just have to be really, really precise. Um, let's go here to trade the queens. I guess I can play here to hit the pawn. I feel like this position is starting to collapse a little bit for my young opponent. starting to collapse quite a bit do I not have an ice skater here with like e5 don't I have an ice skater he has bishop b6 queen d3 and then he's getting hit anyway um wait if I wait if I take knight b1 probably should win knight b1 yeah, there's there's still the ice skater. So I create the fossil and an ice skater threat at the same time. And now I just take, and now I mean this should be very basic. Go here. Go here, try to trade the queens. Um I'm sure Queen E8 wins, but there's no need to go for anything cheesy, so let's go back. Why did I do that? Let's just go here. No, no need to be stupid here. Just blockade and win the game like a, a normal sane person. Around the world. There we go let's keep going three more to go that was so clean it was a pretty good game I wouldn't say it was completely clean but it worked out pretty well um okay wait I can go 92 maybe 94 93 let's take 
Go here, pressure the knight. Come on, Hikaru. I'm doing the best that I can. It might not be good enough, but I'm trying. Ah, Bishop F6. Free, free, free pawn. Go here, hit the pawn anyway, and look at these knights. Look at these bishops as well. Perfect harmony in my position. Highest rating is 3334, I believe. Okay, I'm just going to drop the bishop back to h3. Uh, that was a mistake, of course. I'm going to go g3, and probably I'm going to fianchito my bishop now. Manually fianchito it. Did I blunder c4 or something? I might have. go here probably work d1 I also have knight d2 somewhere as well okay logical let's go knight d2 here Do I have C5 here is a question. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, great. I don't. Uh-oh. Did I just blunder something here? I might have. Mm, this is not what I wanted. That's for sure. Got to be careful here. Hmm. Have to trade. I should be okay here. Still very tricky, though. It's a very, very dicey situation here. I think he's trying to make some tactic like Bishop F4 work, but it just doesn't work. Let's go here. I think this works. Threatening mate. Magus tweet blue. What up? Did Magus tweet something? Did I miss something? I don't know. So go here. I, I got to pick up the speed. I'm, I'm up on time, but no, he didn't. Okay. So whatever. I think I can go here to pressure the pawn. Why did I do this? So stupid by me. Rook C1 was a horrible move by me. I'm still okay because I have King H2, but... Wait, that seems like um. Wait, do I have Rook C... Wait a second, Rook C4? Yeah, I think this just wins. Yeah, it just wins. He's pinned on the file. I mean, the game goes on for a while, but I should win this game now. Let's put the pawn on A3, of course. Start pushing the P with a five. Gotta gotta keep up the pace. Let's go F6 here. Trying to go for a lolly with Queen G5. Ah, great. I just blundered. Oh, I blundered again. He missed it. Very bad. I start keep I keep pushing the P. It's actually not easy to win. Um okay, but he blunders this one and now I win. A queen and I block. The two queens win the day. There we go. Next game. He car every second. Oh I blundered. I do blunder a lot, not gonna lie. 
Okay, right. And he's going to play this line. I need to remember not to blunder. It's one where he goes knight a3, and he goes bishop e2, and I need to remember to play a6 or c6. Both are playable. I think I'm going to play... Uh, I think I'll play the a6 line here. I'm 33, 33. Yeah, it's been a long time. I When I missed it the first time all those years ago in 2020, which really does feel like a lifetime ago, I was doubtful that I would ever get back there. I was so upset at myself because I was, it was plus one, and I was 33, 32, and I lost, and it was just so sad. I was so sad when that happened. Oh, let's go b5. Actually, I also don't know why I did this. This is also completely wrong. I misplayed this. Okay, let's just castle, I guess. Goes A4, which I don't really like. Um, do I play B4 or not? I think I'm just going to go C6 here. And maybe like go rookie 8. Takes, I'll take. I mean, I guess I'll take. Why not? Takes, let's go here. Pressure the bishop. I mean, I'm starting to get a little bit happy on the king side, just a little bit. Go here, guard everything. Ang angling for queen h3 somewhere. I've got a very nice position again. Yeah, three years later, yes. I, I mean, I remember it very vividly. Like, it's, I do, actually. Go here. Go here, and knight g4, big, big threats. Also, bishop g4 and bishop f3, wait. But this looks correct to trade the bishops. Don't I have knight g4 here? Mm, he found a way to defend this. Unfortunate. But I still have rookie six. Go here, knight d5. I still have a very nice position. It's maybe not easily winning because my bishop on c7 isn't great. But long term, I should be in really, really good shape to win this game. Like h6. Oh, did I blunder rook c5? It kind of did, but whatever. Go here to hit the bishop. I want to keep more pieces on the board, basically. I do have knight d5 now, though. Or wait, no, I've got queen e2, maybe? Wait, queen e2? Hit both? Tricky, tricky. Maybe here to hit the rook, hit the bishop. Actually, I'm just winning. Rook c2, I take. Yeah. There we go. Another win. Or not. Wait, he's got rook a5. Don't, don't count your chickens before they've hatched. No, I missed rook a5, of course. I thought I was just winning the game. Like a total dumb something. Um, uh, it's still tricky. It's not easy to win this. I'll go queen a6. But he's really hanging by a thread here. I mean, this is very hard to play. Wait, bishop p4? No, I guess not. Play. I'm just going to go h5, h4. I'm going to get... Oh, he's got this. Okay, I'll go back. Queen f1 was a good move that I missed. Um, let's go back. Definitely going to go h4, like right here. Because rook 8 I always have queen b7. I can also just take. I also have knight d7. Let's go back. And now I've got knight d5 lurking. I also have knight g4 lurking. Wait. There we go. Classic fossil. Let's take the rook. There we go. Okay, now it's just a matter of killing him on the B file, basically. Go here. I'm sorry, not killing, but winning the game. Um, go check. Hmm. I don't actually have a forced win, do I? Strange. Weird champ. Maybe or maybe I have Queen B2 to hit the knight. Actually, this is how I win. Yep. This is not history, you guys. My my record earlier was the same record. Let's go here and now. Can't guard everything. Yeah, another win. Let's keep going. Here we go. This is our chance at history. This is plus one, by the way. Or no, every game's plus one. What am I saying? Gotta go for it with E4. Vincent Kamer lost? Wait, what? Wait, Vinny lost? Wow. Wow, Vinny. Not so not so bueno, my man. Not so bueno. Oh, he blundered in an endgame again? Hmm, unfortunate for Vinny. 
I jinxed my cousin Vinny. Yeah, exactly. Let's go knight g3. Queen e2. We need one more. Yeah, one more game to get to 30. Hmm. No, I didn't bet on Vinny. I'm just shocked that he lost. But he is playing Predka, who's been on a big heater lately, including in the Isle of Man. Okay, let's see. I guess I'll just go here. I don't know. I, Bishop C1 is probably just better. But there is Rook C1. There's H5. There are, there are a lot of problems in this position for Black. Um, let's take with a Bishop. He'll go 95, I thought. I guess not. I mean, this looks horrible for Black, because he's, he's he's gonna... Okay, also a move I didn't expect. Let's take with a pawn. I mean, I guess he can castle queenside, but then I take and I get knight f5 anyway. I mean, it looks very, very bad. Okay, I guess I... Um, I can take and go knight f5. I think castles is actually a better move here. Prophylactic to stop him from being able to castle queenside. What? Huh? Go here, hit all the pawns, classic right triangle. There we go, another win. Do we keep going? I think we go for one more, right? Let's try to win five more, five more for it. Five more, let's let's go for five more, okay? Let's see if I can get to 19, 20, no, 20, zero. Let's see if I can get to 20, zero, right? That seems like a good, good, good idea. Uh, let's go here and here. Yeah, 20, 20 0 seems like the score. Yeah. I agree. Let's play H5, H4, classic, uh classic Robert James Fisher. Um Robert James Fisher played this a lot. The uh classic um King's Indian attack. This was a big favorite of Robert James. Also known as Bobby Fisher, the former world chess champion. My this is my peak rating. This is my peak rating. But I think I mean if I I'm gonna go over the double adoption. Um, I'm going to go for the double adoption, try to get to, get to, um, get to 33, 40, and then that's good enough for me. <clears throat> hmm. Now I have 94 <coughs> and knight g3, which looks very good. What is the best rating? I, I mean, I've been higher, but, or not higher than this, sorry, but. Um, excuse moi. Excuse moi. Excuse moi. Let's just trade. I have knight g3. Excuse moi. Qua? Okay, new record. Let's keep going. Okay, next game. Let's keep going. <clears throat> he might be done. I wouldn't be shocked if he's done here. No, he's not done. He's he's a glutton for punishment. He's a glutton for the punishment. Play C4. Let's keep going, you guys. We're we're pushing it. We're pushing it. We're pushing it like um we're pushing it like it's something. I don't even know that doesn't make any sense at all, but yeah. Okay, he takes with the knight again. This guy seems to be a little bit too uh happy to take with the the knights. Let's go d4. I had this, I think, in maybe one of the first games against him earlier. Hmm. Queen d5 is a very weird move. I'm going to go f3. What is this bro doing? Oh, somehow he's not losing here, even though he should be. I see four, queen, seven. Very lucky that he's not just lost here. Very, very lucky. He blundered, but he got away with it. Ah. 
I guess I'll just play a classic uh, middle game. I guess I'll take with the queen. I mean, this guy is a very good, um, a very good tactical player. I do have 94 here. This is a little bit dangerous because this is trending towards, um, this is trending towards, towards like a rook and pawn end game. But I think I am just much better here. This, of course, I. Oh wait, I've got knight g5, uh, knight g5, rook f8. I guess I just trade. Wow, it takes with a pawn, which looks hideous. That looks absolutely hideous. Why on earth would you ever take with a pawn? Yeah, I'm start. I'm 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 starting to get more play again. This is starting to look very very bad for my opponent. Got knight e5, <clears throat> which is actually potentially a good move. Although I have rook a4, I blunder that shoot. Oh no, I blundered. Okay, let's go back. Actually, it's not it's not a clean blunder though, because I can still take. It's a mistake, but it but it's not the end of the world because rook a8 I have knight before he goes there. Of course I go back, cut off the kebab, also guard the pawn. It was rook d4, which I don't particularly approve of. Um Okay, so how do I play this? Rook c1 makes a lot of sense. G4 also makes a lot of sense. I think I'm gonna go. Hmm, I don't want to play g4, so I think I'm gonna go here first, and then I'm gonna go g4 next move, basically. Okay, it goes there, which I don't like either. E5, logical move. Mm, I think I'm just going to start pushing P up the queen side here. I could have played A3, which I think was actually a lot better, but who cares? Yeah, I'm just pushing the P. Got to be very careful how he does this, man. I think I might have some way to win already, almost. Maybe not win, but... I mean, like, a7 looks very dangerous already. Although I did misplay this naturally. Go here to trade some rooks. It's a tricky position still for my opponent. Goes there. Plays c5, which looks kind of insane to me. Where do I put my king is the question. I guess I'll go here. And I blundered. Oh my god. How did I blunder that? Wait. Ridiculous by me. Wait, oh, how am I so low on time? What the heck? Wait, how am I so low on time? What the fridge? What the heck? I have to make the draw. Draw! Oh, man. Draw. 
Mm. Good try by Liam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. That, that's a good spot. I told you to quit at 33-35. It's fine. I don't care. I didn't realize how low on time I was, though. I was way too low on time. Oh, Rook A5. Rook A5 was the winning line. I, I knew there was something. Rook A5. Here we go. Round one. Playing against Beta 25-42. Uh... And let's roll. We should, of course, I guess, be in emote mode. Okay, we get E4 here. Check Levi's tweet about what? I don't know what Levy's talking about. Um, let's play A6 here. Yeah, we should be in emote mode. There we go. Okay, someone gets a buy. 16... 1697? What? It's a new account? That looks really weird. Okay, let's just go E6. Really, really weird stuff. Okay, let's play C5 here. I should maybe try to focus on the game a little bit. Let's play D5, play a French here. He'll probably play E5 and play the advance with the connect four. So I guess I'll go for Bishop D7 and Queen B6 here. A6 is justified because I want to trade off this nice wooden shield on D3 if possible. So he goes F4. Um, that looks kind of wrong. I'm going to go Bishop B5. Probably will play Knight F3. I think I'm going to go Queen B6 here. And knight c6 next move. I, I really want to get rid of this wooden shield if I can. Okay, so he castles. I expected that. Um, I could trade. I could also just play knight c6, I guess, here, which seems fine. Pressure the pawn. He might have to take, which I assume he doesn't really want to do. Ooh, he trades this one. Um, I guess I'll take with the a pawn to open up the a file here, maybe. Okay, I expected that. I think I'm going to go knight h6 to play knight f5 next move. Hit this bishop either way. I'll pre-move bishop c5. Okay, it goes to h3. Um, I could take here, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take right away. Because knight e4, I think I have bishop c4. Oh, he takes with a knight. Interesting. I did not expect that, actually. Now, I could play f5 here, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I think I'm going to go f5 here. This is getting kind of dank. It's getting kind of really dank, actually. I mean, if takes, I take. I still don't know what White's doing, though. That's the thing, like. Okay, I think he could have taken and played f5 and maybe won the game. I think I was a little bit lucky there. I think he I think he missed something. Because now once I go knight f7 and I get h6 or knight d8, I'm going to be completely fine here. I can even try to get rid of my double pawn with b4. I think takes takes f5 might have just been winning for white. I think he missed something bigly there. Okay, so now he has ideas. So if I go b4, knight e6 is a free piece. I can also trade. I can also play h6. I can also just castle, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm just going to castle here. And the reason I'm going to castle is because now knight e6 is far less effective. And he still struggles to develop this horsey horse. Okay, now I'm going to play b4 to undermine the chain a little bit. Now I can trade and maybe go queen b2, create the classic right triangle, of course. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to today oh i missed this actually i did miss the yeah i missed this one so i take and take i mean i'm still fine here but mm. hard to judge i mean he's kind of overpressed on the um he's kind of over pushed it a little bit on the uh, king side here I have ideas here. I'm trying to active. I'm trying to go for the kill with like some queen e2, queen g4. Okay, I think he could have taken and maybe blocked and queen g4, queen g3, but whatever. He missed it. Let's go c5. 
Okay, now I've got the pawns rolling. I can go b3. I can also play just rook b8 here. Great play on the queen side. His knight and rook are sort of in jail here. Goes b3. Okay, now my knight is the only bad piece. So how do I bring my knight into the game? How do I bring the knight to the party? Let's go knight b8, knight c6. Just bring this knight in. If he takes, I take, of course. I'm not really worried about this, so I'll just ignore whichever one he pushes. Oh, does he have c4 or something? He might have some c4 that I missed. But I think I go here in knight d4 and I crush him on the diag. And now there's also knight b3. And yeah, now I just break through because the horse is still, still, still in jail. No squares available. I win the pawn. And I've got knight b3, which should just be GG on the spot. Next move. Let's take. Classic pin here. And the rook is trapped. Yeah, this is GG. Uh, I think I just go here. I'm just going to trade off the, the 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 rooks here. Take. Go here. Put me in, coach. All right, we got the win. Thank you to Mandal for the 21, Barcer bet for the 15, and Moral Soccer Note for the eight months. Thank you so much. We got a win. I gained zero points, of course. Let's see who else is playing. Uh, but finally, round one ends, and we keep going with round two. Okay, here we go. Uh, story time, initial interest in chess, first time game. Okay, let's go knight f3 here, keep it simple. I gotta win every game to not lose rating points, by the way. So it's very important here. F? No, I didn't drop any frames. No, no, no drop frames, you guys, but very funny. You're very, very funny. Very, very funny. Okay. Okay, let's go b3, keep it simple here. Go bishop b2, e3, d4. Could play g3, but I think I'm just going to stick to basics. Who's there? Um, let's play this one. Not sure. I mean, bishop d3 is fine. I could also play like c4. Okay, so I think what he wants here... I'm just going to take... I think what he wants is to play like d6. Yeah, I expect this. So now I'll go c4. And he has two options. Push the pawn or move the knight. Both, all three are playable. He's deep in the tank. Let's see what he does here. Knight e4 is a strange move to me. It looks dubious. Looks very dubious. I mean, queen c... I don't... It looks dubious. It really... How many times did I just say that in, in this last, like, five seconds? Uh, I'll play knight d2. I just feel like somehow he's creating weaknesses in the center of the board long term, and something should happen. I can take with a queen, but I'll just take with a knight to keep this very chill. I think I'm gonna go bishop e2 so that I can play bishop f3. And I just want to bring the rooks to the center. I don't know if I put them on c1 and d1 or if I put them on d1 and e1. I'm not sure. Okay, I think I think I'm gonna go to d1. I, I think I'm a little bit worried. Okay. Go here. I'm just a little bit worried that um Okay, f4 was one of the moves that I was worried about a second ago, but now I don't act I'm not actually worried about it so much. Because I think I can play like I'm just going to go a3. Very quiet move, but just stop the knight jump. And now the pawn covers. The knight has no jumps here. I have queen c3, knight e4. I also have bishop e4. I rather like my position here. Got to be honest. I really do like it. I've got knight e4. I've got queen c3. There's bishop d6, which looks kind of sus to me, but maybe it's okay. Stage three. G3, I'm a little bit worried he's going to go for some saccharoo, so I don't want to do it. Um... He is finding some pretty good moves, though. Bishop e5 is a very, very good move that I kind of did not actually anticipate. I guess I'll go here and trade. I think if he takes... I don't have time to take on h7, I don't think. But we both have these wooden shields as well. So two wooden shields, and we'll see whose is better. I'll take, of course. Now, do I take or drop back? Also a big question. Um... I think I'm gonna drop back here. I don't actually like my position to be honest. It goes queen e5, so he wants to trade the queens. I'm a little bit surprised by this decision. Okay, I'll take. If he takes, I might even have bishop h7 here. Yeah, I think I might have some tricks. No, why did it? I misplayed this. 
Why did I trade? I should have gone rookie one. What the heck was this? Okay, I guess I'll just take. Don't like my position in this game. Do not like my position at all. Should be very slightly better. Oh, I had 94. Oh, man. Why didn't I play 94? That's very bad. I think 94 is just winning. Because it would have hit all the pawns. Like, I still have 94. But it would have hit all the pawns with knight g5. Now it doesn't hit everything. But I think I still should go for it. So let's play 94 anyway. Still tricks. Still forks. Yeah, I misplayed this quite a bit. Um, could play b4 maybe. I'm going to go b4. I'm going to try to make this more sharp. Or not more sharp. Sharper. Not more sharp. What am I speaking like? Let's go knight c3. Now I blockade the pawn. No knight g4. No d4. Um, I have like king f2. I've got knight b5, knight d4. Um, the show's going to go on. I mean, I am better here. I, th I think I'm very, very slightly better. Not like actually better, but technically. I think you sensei Wu for the three. I think you delinquent corp for the prime. And I've got the blockade on the squares. I'm up on clock. Expected that. Um, question is, how do I improve the position? I think I should start with this. My bishop on b1, just doing nothing. At least from c2, I have extra squares available. At some point, I'm probably going to start trying to push P on the queen side, I would guess. I don't really want to put the knight on D4 either, because the, the, the pawn on D5 is the weakness here. Goes there, which he actually kind of invites him to go after him. I'm going to go after him. Uh, now I'm going to start pushing P. Okay, now I can play knight E2, maybe. There's also A5. There's also rook D4. Wait, I, I, I know I'm... Let's go A5. Record? I already set the record yesterday. I'm not worried about setting a record today okay but now i think this gives me e4 or that was my plan at least i also have like a6 maybe okay i'm thinking too long here though maybe now i should re no i think now i'm gonna reroute the knight to d4 because the pawns are so advanced maybe go here there's always a6 here to trap put the bishop in jail as well there's also rook f1 yeah, now I do have a6 here. It's a big question. Um, but I don't really trust it. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to bring my king closer. Okay, finds 96. I expected that. Now a6 is not a move here. So I guess I'll go. I'm just going to go back and reset here. Yeah, it goes there. Go here. I do have e4 now. No, I don't have e4. What am I smoking? Um... I do have b6 maybe i also actually wait no i've got bishop e ah wait wait no i've got bishop e4 here yeah it's a very very critical move because now i can put the bishop on the diagonal very very critical move now i should just win the game because now he's gonna have problems dealing with everything yeah bishop e4 should win the game now i block and now now it's very very hunky dory um i have a6 i also have b6 maybe but i think i'm just gonna play quietly as king e2 should not have done. Why did I do this? Ah, what am I doing? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Struggling to find the right concept somehow. I need to just pick up the speed here. Oh, uh, that should be a blunder. No. Yeah, I just take and I've got knight c6 with the classic fossil. Of a6, maybe? Guard the pawn, cover everything, and now I should just win. Now I just go in for the kill, check, and... Yeah, now, now I should just win. Part of me. All right, big win. Keep moving on. Thank you to first round pick for the 13 Leo app for the three things Sneers for the 16. All right, we're playing drags. This is Dragnev or no, it's Camille Dragoon. Let's play a6 anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play b5. Probably not best, but so be it. Here's e4. Um, I could play bishop b7 here to hit the pawn. Why not? It's a strange position here. 
Strange position. We'll see what he does. He plays queen c2. Guess I'll just take and play like e6 maybe. Of course, I have to stop some like right triangle threat. Now he goes there. I could play d5. Knight f6 looks quite interesting, so I'm just going to play it to hit the pawn on e4. Knight c3, logical. I have d5. I also have bishop b4 maybe just to hit the knight, hit the pawn. He goes there. Um, I actually don't really like my position here. It's kind of ugly. Like, maybe more than a little ugly. Um, I guess I'll play d5. Why not? I mean, there's e5 here, maybe. But e5, knight d7, and c5 is playable. They need to give me more for the 41-month reset. They need to give me more. He goes check, but first of all, I have bishop c6, which I think is actually completely fine. I go here, takes, takes. 94, 94. Bishop c6 takes, d takes e4, 95, 80. I'm just going to go for it. Just takes. Maybe I'm missing something, but I think this is fine. So I'm going to get a fork here in the middle. I mean, it's, it's very unclear what's going on. Takes. I mean, I guess I have to take with the knight, of course. If I were to take with the bishop, I think he can take with queen b7 and then make a draw. And obviously, my rating is 33-something. I can't afford draws. Draws are not acceptable at my current rating. So let's play knight d6 here, of course. Um, I can play bishop d5. I can also just castle, I guess. Why not? Let's just castle. Um, I think Christian for the 13. They have g Psalms for the 46. Appreciate it. Draws are just unacceptable at my current rating. That's the sad reality of my world right now um now i am a little bit worse here i think if i go bishop b5 though okay wait a second i feel like this is where i have a chance if i play a couple of good moves to really um get maybe an advantage or maybe not really be worse okay i'm just gonna go here play f6 and knight c6 go here hit the queen Also, queen c5 runs into knight b7. So he has to be kind of careful how he plays this. It's not trivial anymore for, for white. Like, queen c5, knight b7, queen a3, knight d4. And I think I'm just up a pawn, and I still have my wooden shield in the middle of the board. So he's got to be very careful how he plays. I think I'm actually very close to being um, to being better here. Thank you, Mr. President Meow, for the two months. Thank you, Toad Isles, for the 24. He goes queen a4. Now, I do have knight b5 here. I can also just take a pawn. Wait, I can also wait. Takes, takes knight d4. Bishop c7, queen c7, takes knight d2. Wait, uh, wait, knight d4. Oh, right, let's go for this. Let's take. Because takes, takes, takes. He has a temporary fossil, but then I fork him knight knight e2. I have e5. And I've got c5 to build a great bastion and a connect four. I should be better here. I don't know if it's winning necessarily, but I should be better. Okay, so he takes. Okay, I have 90. No, 92 does nothing. Let's just take. Actually, I feel like I missed something here. No, I missed something. Shoot. Because if I go queen e4, he's got queen d7, which I didn't see at all. Crud. Okay, this is a problem. It's going to be hard to win this now. Uh, I could check and play queen b5, maybe. Rook a2, rook c2, though. c8, takes, takes. Ack. Yeah, queen e4, queen d7 is annoying. Okay, but I got I got to go. I can't just use all day here. Um, uh, if I go rook c8, rook d7 doesn't do much. I'll go here try to trade some rooks this isn't what I wanted to do but it's mm, what I have to do I think I have rook a8 also to hit everything like if he takes I've got rook a8 if he goes bishop e3 I actually expected that move but I think I can check and maybe go like queen b5 here it's like queen b2 I take, I've got rook c2. I'm up on clock here. It's not going to be easy to win this position, but I have chances. Mm. 
Wow, he finds A3, which is a tremendous move. That is a tremendous move. Um, okay. Have to go E5. I have F5, F4 maybe. Like, this is not trivial, because I still can go, like, G5. I've got Knight C1 somewhere as well. Okay, I'm going to keep... Uh, maybe I have H5, but I think I'm just going to go uh, King G6, maybe. Thank you, thank you, Maria. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate it. Let's go here. It's still very tricky, because, I mean... Got knight b3 or no? I've got h5 too. Ah, shoot! I missed this. Oh, great! I missed this move. Uh oh. But I've got king f5 g4 still. Wait, I'm still in the game to win it because he can't create a pass pawn on the queen side. I missed rook c7, but he can't create pass pawn. Check. Okay. Now I can play knight d3 here and knight c5 maybe. I can also go f3. Let's go check. I think I'm going to win this game, though. I think my king is coming in too fast. Like, he's a little bit too slow here, I think. I go here, knight d3. And I think I'm going to win the game now. Yeah, I'm going to win the game. because I, I managed to trick him. And now I walk the horse to e2. I, I trap the king in the box, and he resigns the game. Yeah, now it's just easy. I just walk the king back, and I win the game. This is a very Magnusian kind of game, by the way. Um, how do I win this, by the way? One second. What am I doing? Okay, this should be winning. Yeah, this is still winning. He's also Zugzwanged here. Now I take and I just come back and start pushing the P. GG. Okay, there we go. Another win. Thank you to Ro Ronaba for the five. Thank you to Photo Chest for the 41. Thank you to Shawarma for the... Uh, thank you so much to Shawarma for the two months as well. So we get the win. Big win. Move to three out of three. Let's keep rolling. Let's go, Bishop G2. Plays D5. Um, let's go over D3, Knight 2, E4. Keep it simple. Deep in the tank here. Let's see what he does. Plays C6. Okay, I'm going to go E4, Knight F3, of course. And just castle. I think this is... Play I'm just making sure there's no tricky tricky with, like, Bishop F2 or something. But there isn't. So... Um, can go Knight C4, but I think I'm just going to castle first. Okay, now the key is how do I finish my development? B3 actually makes a lot of sense here to go for the double Fianchito and pressure the center. There's also a4 maybe i don't really like bishop g4 honestly wow he takes interesting did not expect that because bishop d4 i just have c3 he just gives me the two b's for free or does he he's got bishop a3 which he doesn't play okay he doesn't play it um okay so what i need to do is somehow activate my knight i think i'm gonna go here maybe knight e I'm worried about Bishop A3, basically. And I don't really want to play A3 or C3. So that's why I'm going to play Knight C4 here, and we'll see what he does. Let's see what you got. Get Knight B6. I can play Knight E3 if there's G6. I mean, I don't really want to play... Eh. Don't want to go knight b2, but I'm going to play it anyway. It's kind of strange looking, but I've got a4, c3, etc. Dude, Deborah Denti for the nine months. Thank you so much. Looks pretty good here. Goes a5. I mean, knight d3 is a move. I also have a4 here. I think I'm going to play knight d3. So if he goes here, I just go rook b1. 
He drops back. I mean, maybe I play a4, maybe I don't play a4. I'm not really sure. He goes there, but the problem is I'm, I think his bishop's going to get trapped sooner or later. Goes a4. I have bishop g5 here, which looks quite convincing. Bishop d2 also. Uh, a, b, a, b, rook a2. Thank you so much to Hokey fan for the five gifters. I'm just going to go bishop g5. I don't know if it's right, but I just... I don't really want to burn all my clock here trying to come up with some special fancy schmancy. I could have traded. Maybe I should have traded. I don't know, but whatever. Let's go here. Actually, I should have played bishop d2 right away. Because on rook a2, there was knight b4. Stupid. I should I should have played bishop d2 right away. I missed knight b4, but he allows it now. Because um, now I get c3 to kick the bishop back. It's not like special or anything, but it's also not the end of the world either. Maybe I go h4. Then knight c... Oh, no. Knight c5 is not... Actually, I think, yeah. I'm going to play h4 and, like, bishop h3. Try to slowly, slowly expand on the king's side if I can. Although h4 might be a mistake, because I just realized. But I want to go h5, h6 maybe as well. It's also knight d3, bishop b4. Wait, does he... Oh, I don't have c3. Whoops. I thought I had c... That's not good. Although, maybe bishop g5? No, I guess I have to go here. Okay, I'm going to have to go c3, I think, at some point. Because it's going to go knight e6. I guess I have to go c3. Because I need to take away the square from the horse. Now he's a tough choice. He goes there. I mean, knight d3 is still reasonable. Yeah, I think I'm going to go knight d3 to hit the pawn. Still hard to judge. I mean, I, I saw knight c5. I thought I could maybe reroute the horse, but I guess I can't. Bishop e3, maybe? Then knight bd7. Mm. Okay, whatever. I'll still play. He's going to go knight d Oh, he goes knight fd7. That's not the move I expected. Um, One question here is do I have knight b2? I'm going to go for this. This might be bad, but I'm trying to do something weird here on the queen side. Like queen c4, maybe? I'm trying to go for a really strange wrinkle in the position. It's also, oh, you know, there's also bishop h3, I just realized, too, maybe. Okay, it goes there. I'm going to play queen c4, I think. I want to go, wait. Wait a second. Wait, now there's, wait, wait, wait a second. Bishop g5, there's also bishop h3. Probably rook d1 was better, but whatever. Very murky. Very, very murky. He's getting very low on time, which is bigly in my favor because I have the two Bs. Also got Rook D1. Yeah, he goes 96. Now, the problem here is I don't really want to play Bishop C1, but I think it's actually the best move, so I'm going to play it. It's also an unexpected move. Like, he's expecting me to trade something, and I, and I just, like, ignore everything. I'll play b4. Okay, so now I'm starting now I'm starting to get the advantage. Now I just have to start playing well. Go back. Ah, but he's got knight a4, which I eh, I shouldn't have allowed this. But I've still got the two Bs, and now I've got everything I want. Go back. And now I want to just infiltrate with the two towers. What's that? Can't I just take and play rook d7? Oh, he's... Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Rook d7 takes, queen a2. Classic kebab. Yeah, we got the win. Big win. And by the way, if he goes queen f6, takes, takes. It looks like he's mating me, but I can sack the queen. And then when he takes, I get the ice skater with rook c8. And the queen also guards f2, so he's just losing. So we get the win. Four out of four. Big, big dub. I think I played that pretty well. Not perfectly, but I think I was better. I was supposed to trade. I didn't trade. Ah, uh, knight d3 was good here. Okay. Queen e2 wasn't right. Yeah. Yeah. It goes here. 
I'm bishop e3 and now now I'm just better yeah now, now I'm just now I'm just much better here already very good all right here we go round number five we're playing xx soul uh let's play a6 anyway why not we're playing a strong player actually my does my rating matter because my rating matters I shouldn't be playing this garbage yeah my rating matters why am I playing this trash but who cares okay he trades the pawns I'll take with a pawn now I've basically wasted tempo on a6 it's kind of not so ideal <laughs> let's just put it that way I've wasted a tempo on a6 and it's not really very useful here did I blunder why is he thinking maybe I bl I was thinking maybe I blunder there because his, his deep tank there kind of felt like he figured because he's playing an exchange French he probably thought maybe I did something bigly wrong but it looks okay here so let's see what he does yeah. okay, I'm gonna play knight c6 here develop the knight hit the pawn now a6 is actually justified because nothing can go to b5 now everything is kind of peachy for me kind of peachy I can even play Bishop d6 and trade because now there's no square somehow I think I've survived this in a better than I should have because or may, maybe it's not that it's better than it than it should be it's that the exchange French just sucks like if you play the exchange French what are you really hoping for because he's thinking he's thinking for a while here which tells me that he's unsure now the, if, if I was a computer I bet I could take and get away with some silly 96 but am I a computer I don't no and I don't think I'm good enough I don't think I'm good enough to do this I was 3500 I bet I could I'll, I'm gonna check that after the game if takes was playable wow okay interesting huh this looks wrong do I trade trade this looks very wrong wait a second okay I'm up 10 seconds on the clock d3 queen d3 takes is flat bishop c3 is a, bishop c3 knight g6 no hmm no, I think I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take and I'm probably just gonna castle here I guess you know obviously trade if he wants actually I could go knight a5 ah aha yes I think I uh knight a5 c4 f6 I think I have time I'm gonna go for this and I I'm hoping that I can kick the horse out and get a bastion this is either really good or really bad I'm not sure but I'm gonna go for it because why not okay he goes Bishop g3 which ah if I kick him ah, if I kick him he's just gonna go back to D eh but who cares yeah let's kick kick the horse and then I castle I mean I still I can maybe get really 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 chirp with some kind of h5 but I, I think it's better to be safe and sound than sorry so yeah I mean h5 knight h4 h5 queen yeah whatever just play simple chess don't be stupid I can also maybe reroute my other horse to b6 like maybe I go like this to put a knight on c4 plays knight h4 which I don't understand at all um okay, I'm gonna go knight c4 of course yeah I, I don't understand what he's doing it's queen d7 rookie eight of course positionally speaking my opponent's in very bad shape objectively he goes there I mean he can win a pawn maybe because if I go here and move the knight c7 hangs at the end of the day but I still just don't believe him somehow I just really don't believe that this can be all that good for white so the question is if I don't believe this can be good for white how do I how do I try to force him to do something it's not obvious because I can play rook f7 and rook c8 I think I'm gonna go rook f7 and rook f8 I think yeah, let's go here some point maybe I play c6 just to consolidate the structure and take away a weakness but I'm not sure there's also knight f5 which I kind of missed too maybe I should have put the rook on e8 and f8 and just given up a pawn but whatever whatever is as we say whatever see what he does Fifty seconds and counting he's thinking for a long time here he goes Bishop h2 which tells me that he doesn't have a good plan in mind now I could go f5 maybe but it's very bold it's very very bold to play f5 I think it's actually a good move but it's very bold f5 g5 f4 oh mm, he's he's 
He's not super long. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's just go for it. He's not super long time, but I, I want to go for it anyways. Play out four. I'm going to shut the Bishop in jail. Oh my God. Did I just blunder Bishop out four? He misses it. Okay, there's the Magnus effect in play, or the Hikaru effect, or whatever you want to call it. He had Bishop out four in rookie seven. Not good. Um, okay, but I still have a time to reset. So knight f5, he goes g6, I guess. If I play knight d6, knight d6, bishop f4, knight e4 looks fine. So I'm going to go here. I just want to go knight e4 and win the rook. I'm trying to discoordinate his rooks. Discord? That doesn't sound like English. Um, take with a pawn. Why not? He takes. I think it's uncoordinate discord I, I my English is for whatever reason seems very poor today um okay, I have 94 here I have f f3 to go for a um lolly but f3 doesn't lolly because he's got the rook on the file I had rook f6 too maybe go c4 okay now I've got um I should be winning here somehow why why don't I see it though we have five rook g4 I'm thinking too long now. Okay, go C4. No, I've messed this up somehow. Um, what am I doing? I'm too slow. Rook G4. Um, I guess I'll play F3. I don't know if it works. Do I have Knight F2 here, maybe? No, I don't. Okay, I, got, I just gotta go. I gotta go. Oh wait, he's getting me. Or wait, no, he's. I thought he was getting mated. Still very sharp. I'm gonna go ninety two. I got to move. I'm, I beat him. I got him. I got him. There we go. We got the win. Five out of five. Thank you to call me, call me Dapper, please, for the nine. Thank you to Tobias Craft for the 23, Palana for the 21, Chess Player. I had, this was similar to, the pre, wasn't this the same structure I had against that other bro, um, Camille Dragoon? It was the same structure, right? I had the same box earlier, right? Against this other guy. Like, it was the same box. Like, in this Dragoon game, I got the same box. See, I got this box with G4, F3, 92. This, his king got boxed in that game. It was the same box. But in this game, the box wasn't as good. But there's still an Anastasia mate. Oh, I'm winning. I'm winning here with Rook B8. Oh, I missed it here. Oh, wait. Rook B8 wins here. Why does Rook B8 win here? Oh, it's because I can go G3 and F2. Oh, I got the box wrong. But yeah, his king got stuck in the same box here with the knight and the pawns versus the king. It's kind of funny to have two boxes in the same way. Yeah, apparently, because the problem is basically when we get to this position here, he has to be so careful because if he goes like he goes like here, there's also an Anastasia mate potentially on top of this check. So there's so many mates. But whatever, it's a win. Five out of five, we keep rolling. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to look at the position. They need AAL for the 53rd Trace for T. David Chang, Pa, pa has Brewski, I'm Crazy Fool. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could have gotten away with, it, away with it, right? There was an early pawn capture that... It, could I have gotten away with it is the question. It was like back here, right? No, actually, no. No, I, I, I could have played it, but it's the computer says white is better. Okay, never mind. Okay, we're playing Vokidov. Um, I'm going to play G3 again. Again, Shield. This is Vokidov, who I played in the Doha Master in Qatar. 
Shamsadine, Vokidov. Also my teammate in the Pro Choss League. Hmm. Okay, let's play Knight of Three. Um, I don't want to burn my whole clock. Uh, let's just go D4. Um, let's play a Sicilian. Why not? We're going to change this back into a Sicilian. 92 also playable. Bo both both moves playable. It's developing castle. Just got to make sure Bishop G4 does nothing. It's not really... I guess I'll go H3. H5 is an interesting move. I don't know if it's good or not. I mean, unless he intends to go for some big sacks here on the Queen's King side... I mean, maybe, maybe I, maybe I don't understand chess, but I don't believe him. I'm basically calling his bluff and saying, if you want to take, or you want to go H4, or whatever you want to do here on the King's side, I don't believe you. You're full of Bologna. And if he's right and I'm wrong, he's going to win the game. That's basically how it goes. Um, could play Bishop G5 here. I also have F4. Um, I think I'm going to go F4 here. Again, I'm not worried about H4 because I just go G4. Okay. Okay, so we're in the show me the money phase. Either he's got a big sack on G4 or he's just much worse. Maybe much worse is too extreme, but either he's got a good sack on G4 and he wins the game probably. And if he doesn't have it, he's probably just worse. Because now he's created a weakness and he still has to castle his king. And now he's letting me march my pawns up the board. So if he doesn't have the big sack, he probably loses the game here. And the fact that he's using so much time tells me that he does not have the big sack. He would have played it right away if he saw something. Here goes queen c7, another move that I don't really understand. I mean, I guess he wants some f5, d5 action. I don't want to play f5. I think what I want to do here is maybe play knight d5. It's not actually a dream, but it looks good. I'm thinking too long, though. Yeah, I think I just go for it. Just play it. And knight a5. Now it's a question of do I trade the knights or do I play c3? Also a big question. I think I'm just going to trade the knights. And go c3 here. Probably I'll try to reroute my bishop to f2 down the road. I should be better here. I don't know if it's much better or just a little bit better. That's the only problem. Okay, let's go here. Bishop f2, bishop h4 is my idea, obviously. Hmm. Saw a slight problem with my idea, but whatever. It's too late to change. I think I put the. I think Bishop D two was better. Maybe. Okay, he goes B five. I was worried about Rook C four because on Bishop F two he could take, but now he still has the same ideas. If I play A three, whatever. I mean, whatever. Just whatever. Just play chess. Now, I could go b3 and bishop d2 here, which is also possible. I also have bishop d4 now as well. I also have queen e2. Okay, now I think... Um, okay, bishop d4 looks correct, of course. I have rookie one here. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on the center of the board. Like, I should be... question is, which rook do I put on e1 as well? Or do I go queen f2, also a move? I think I'll just go rook a1. Is knight d7 logical? Actually, I should have gone queen f2 first. Why did I do this? Although, takes queen f2. I don't know. It still looks good for me. Weak weaknesses everywhere here. You can't really guard them all. This still should be very pleasant. Knight c5, rook e3 is what I'm going to do. Of course, to cut off the bastions and the forks. I also have f5 too, maybe. Okay, now, if I go f5 here, what's happening? I could do it. But this looks correct. Just simple. And now I have bishop d5 here, which might be very strong, potentially. Rook e1, rook e1, queen c5, queen d2. This looks very good for me. Unless I'm blundering. No, I'm not blundering. I thought maybe he could play queen c5, but he can't. Now, I can also take with the queen, but I think taking with the rook is correct. Because queen c5, queen d2, I hold all the squares. And then I go for the kebab with rook e7 at the end. And if he goes rook c5, I have queen d4, and then the kebab, or I get g5 winning materials, and this is gg. I think, I think, wait, do I set a new record with a win here? It's 3009, right? I might set a new record. I go here, of course. 
I might set a new record intra tournament if I win this game, but I can't gain three. He's three, or I can't gain four. He's three thousand nine. So I think if I win the next game, I set I set a new record. Okay, but I assume rookie seven must be winning unless I'm just stupid. There's also bishop b3, but I think... Oh, let's just go for it. I mean, this looks right. This can't not be right. Knight b6, I'm going to take. I mean, bishop b3 maybe. I I'm, feels like it might have been better, but I don't know. Okay, so I take... Actually, I just have queen e2. Queen e2 should be winning. Oh, wait, f5 with mate? F5 with me. Uh, wait, F5, G5? Wait, F5, G5, or maybe just Queen E2 first. I'm up so much time that I just need to think. Because either I've got the knockout blow or I don't have the knockout blow. I could also just play F5. F5, G5, Queen E2. Rook E4. I think just Queen E2. Hmm. Think. Think, think, think. I've got time. Yeah, this should just be winning. Because queen c8, I have queen e7. Yeah, it's just winning. Yeah, I have check and I have check and mate. Yep, or check and mate also, right triangle. There we go. Big win. There we go. Thirty. Oh, I'm only thirty-three, thirty-five. Not quite there. Oh, did I have queen e1? Is queen e1 more precise? So I hit h4, right? Ah, uh, I have queen e1, which is more precise. So I hit h4 at the same time. Aha! 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 Queen e1 was better. Because I was spending all my time looking at f5 to go for this mate. And g5, I probably still can win with queen e2 or queen e1. Yeah, I mean, I guess everything wins. So, whatever. Who cares? Okay, get on Drake and bad pairing. In terms of winning. Because he's rock solid all the time. What I think about Gukash, his performance is not, not ideal. Yeah. Get d4. Um, I guess I'll play standard. Okay, let's play let's play Queen Zinni. I mean I played this against Andrake in a million times already. Uh, I want to play the uh Petrosian system, okay. Queen C Oh, he plays E3, okay. I guess I'll just trade and go here. There should be seven and castles, all this very standard, by the way. Probably goes like queen e2, queen c7. We beginning. Now, a4 is a move, but I think it's supposed to be a little bit wrong in this specific position. I mean, I had rook a d8 also instead of knight b8. Knight b8 might not be correct, by the way. It feels slightly wrong. The whole time. It goes rookie one, so if I play knight c6, he wants d5. Now, I could trade and go bishop b4. I can also take and go knight 6 d5, knight b4 as well. d5, knight a5, c4, knight b3. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to go for this. So I have knight a5, takes, takes is fine. Knight a5, c4, knight b3, and takes. It's murky. Yeah, it goes d5. Of course, I play knight a5. I mean, c4, I go knight b3. I trade. I mean, maybe it's a little bit worse for me, but it I don't think it should be that much worse. Now, of course, I take. Takes. Logical. Now, I assume what I should do is probably rook a d8 first. I don't want him getting any e5s here. This is the first thing. I don't want any e5s. And then I'm going to play rook e8 and probably like bishop f6 or something. If I go rook e8, e5, takes, takes. Okay, yeah, he has some trick, tricky ideas, I think. I could play g6. I don't really like it. Um, rook e8, e5, takes, takes, bishop d5. I don't I don't believe him, though. I just don't believe him. Yeah, logical. Ah, okay, so I see his plan now. So, okay, so he wants to go e5, takes, 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 and queen e4. Okay, now I see his plan. All right, so that's his idea. So how do I stop it? I think queen f4 is one of the moves that I play. Uh, queen f4, e5, takes, six, bishop. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here. 
I have g3 I go queen I think I go queen h6 or queen g4 both are playable I'm not in love with my position honestly he plays queen d3 so he's still trying to force e5 in so I mean I can play g6 here I guess or f5 f5 is also move but I'm just gonna go g6 because okay g3 drop back why not e5 I just take very very complicated position here very complicated at some point I'm probably gonna have to trade times even so neither side is a big edge on the clock okay of course I'll go here Bishop g7 Fianchito the bishops I can also take on d5 okay now oh if I go Bishop g7 now he can actually play e5 shoot hack I misplayed this crud takes takes c4 Queen c4 okay I don't want to burn much more time here uh I don't want to play e5 five takes takes c4 queen c4 I'm gonna do it I don't want to play this move but I, I it's not the move I want to play but I think I have to I'm still probably okay because I can reroute the bishops but this is not what I want to do that's for sure there's a five logical I'll just go like maybe here I'm definitely gonna go go for it here though like e even if I'm worse I'm gonna try to win this game so the draw like gives me no chance of setting a record objectively I think I'm very slightly worse here but I don't think it's that big of a deal it goes there of course I'll go here trade a set of rooks or both rooks potentially I get b5 maybe I'm even better here I don't have b5 I go rook a8 there's nothing I think I'm just gonna go f6 consolidate my structure he plays bishop a4 which is what I expect now the question here is do I go rook f8 and try to win or do I play rook a8 and try to draw I don't really want to play rook a8 but I think it's the right decision takes and probably um I just go queen b8 to hold the position a little bit I am I'm still probably worse here objectively but I don't like that move from him there's still bishop h3 potentially I've actually misplayed this I think maybe not maybe I'm still okay here yeah he finds that move which is really frustrating because now he's got a quick jump to c3 and I'm gonna have to I don't want to offer a draw here but I might have to I goes there um to go back <sighs> I don't want to make a draw here but I kind of have to there goes my shot at the uh, there goes my shot at the at the record uh unless I win like two more maybe I have a chance but I had a shot I mean let, let me pull up my game I think I needed to trade on d5 earlier I think I had like one or two moments when I could have traded on d5 minus four I know it's the end of the world tell me about it there was probably one or two moments when I could have traded on like maybe here yeah here I should have taken because now c5 I have c4 yeah this is the moment I needed to trade and play like g6 and get the same position but pawns off the board because later when I didn't do it oh ace yes of course of course a6 of course a6 is completely equal here obviously a6 most obvious move in the position but I go here yeah because if I take I think I'm in real trouble right he takes and he gets e5 basically I get the wrong structure but yeah of course a6 e5 b5 and yeah black's fine duh so obvious 